Happy Sunday, everybody, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with everyone you can so we can have as many as we can. And please let us have a nice discussion. No bad names, no bad words. Otherwise, we will ban you. Today, our topic is about the prophethood of a prophet Muhammad. All of us, we knew that the prophet Muhammad is an amazing prophet. And there is many proofs of that. We can see them in Disneyland. Actually, wherever you go, you can see a proof of a prophet Muhammad. As an example, the only religion who have uh, a death warrant against Mickey Mouse is Islam. And that is really a clear proof that Muhammad, he came with something new. I mean, totally new. Something out of the box. My Skype is open. And we would like to invite Muslims to call us. Maybe they can show us any of those proofs that Muhammad he have as a prophet. And we are going to ignore what the Muslim says about Mickey Mouse is an enemy for Allah and he's wanted. And we are going to forget all the stupid things we heard in many, many years. I want a Muslim to call me and show me something smart. Something can be coming from someone called God. You know, when somebody call, uh, well, pray for someone, he call him God. So God is almighty and almighty is almighty in everything. Intelligence, ability, ethic. He is superior in everything. But the more I read about the one they call him Allah, the more I see totally the opposite. I see stupidity. I see madness. I see fictions. I see Disneyland. Yeah, actually, I saw Mr. Qasim. He was saying uh, that if you don't have... If we don't have heart or ribs, then the man, he will not be able to have a sperm. I mean, look look how he tried to explain and cover up the stupidity of the Quran, saying that the woman, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. I mean, look how they try. I mean, they knew that this is stupid. If we don't have a heart and ribs, what, what does have to do with the sperm? Well, if you don't have a head too, that sperm will not come. I mean, what does have to do with this? <laughs> So uh, it, when when they try, they try to defend, you feel sorry for them. So I would like to see Muslims calling us. And uh, if you win this uh, argument, uh, I will buy you a ticket to uh, Disneyland. All right, voluntarily. So if you are a Muslim, please call us. Any Muslim here in the, in the chat? Guys, why we have only... Uh, 500 something look like Sunday is not a is not a busy day for us maybe because we just started I'm not, I don't know we will see so who is the Muslim would like to call us we want to see a very hot debate I want to see a Muslim, he can call us and silence us. For sure, not by saying bad language. We don't welcome such a conversation. We want someone polite, intelligent, he have knowledge, and he can prove his point. Anyone? How they can call me, it's very easy. Just give me your ID and I will call you. Post your ID, Skype ID, and I will call you. We use Skype, it's for free, and it's available for everybody. My book, the Indonesian translation, is done already, but we are giving it to some uh, uh, Indonesian friend to, to, uh, to read it carefully to be sure there's no uh, mistakes, and then we will publish it in a few days. So don't worry, you will have the book, as we promised. We just have a delay because we want to be sure that's nothing missing. The translator, I'm sure he did his best, but sometimes, you know, we make, uh, you know, it's better somebody read after me to correct me 
because sometimes we don't notice our mistakes. Now, do we have any Muslim who would like to call us? Muslims, if you don't call me, I'm going to go. I mean, I'm going to go and I'm show everybody that this Islam cannot be from God. So I'm giving you a golden opportunity, priceless opportunity, to show everybody that Islam is from God. Soon we will have a thousand, two thousand, God knows, ten thousand, twenty, thirty, fifty. I mean, if you go and see my videos, they are being watched by hundreds of thousands. So you better stand up and share your knowledge about your belief. Because if you don't do it, who's going to do it? Who's going to show those Christians, those infidels, uh, the atheists, I mean, uh, Buddhas, Hindus, who's going to show them that Islam is the true religion? If you don't do that. I saw an article, as long as there's no Muslim calling, <coughs> and I will go there. What we can do, I mean, we could not get a Muslim here, so we will get an article. The prophecies of the prophet, proofs of prophethood series. Hey, this guy he have series. I mean, it's not like one or two or three. There's many. I mean, it's endless. Okay. The prophets prophecies of the messenger. Hmm. And they are quoting for us the Quran, chapter 6, verse number 50. I mean, you want to prove to me that your prophet is a prophet. From a chapter, it's called the animals. And how this verse is exist in a chapter called the animals. Did Allah choose those names or Muslims, they fabricate them? I mean, how in the world you call a chapter in the Quran, the chapter of the animals. We have a spider, we have the elephant. I mean, you feel like you are in a zoo. Even we have a chair, we have furniture. We have the table. So say, oh Muhammad, I do not tell you that I have the, I don't know how to read this word, hold on, give me like a, two weeks or three. The, the depositors, uh, uh, contain of the uh, containing the provision of Allah nor that I know the unseen nor I do tell you uh, that I am an angel I am only uh, tell you what is revealed to me Muslims when Allah he revealed anything to Muhammad I have a challenge I have a challenge who is a Muslim can show me only once Muhammad, he received revelation from Allah. Again, guys, you will get the, the, my translation to, to the Basha language very soon. Just have patient. We are reviewing, like we, we gave the book to some uh, 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 people to review it uh, to be sure that the translation is done good. Just have patient. You will have it. I promise you. I will never break my promise. I'm not Muhammad. Any Muslim can tell us how Muhammad, he received a prophecy. You see, when you call somebody a prophet, that's mean he received a prophecy. How Muhammad received the prophecy? Anyone? Hello? You know, yesterday I received a prophecy, but I'm, I'm I'm afraid to share it with you because it's astonishing. Next month, a lot of women, they will have their period. Don't tell me, please, how I know that. Please don't tell me. This is, I mean, I just share it with you and it's given to me. Oh, I forgot to tell you too, that as we speak now, there's somebody in the bathroom doing... Uh, <clears throat> I mean, how I know those things? It's so astonishing. So what is the prophecies of the Prophet Muhammad? Where we can find the prophecies of the Prophet Muhammad, who is a Muslim, would like to call me live on air and show me his prophecy. Because either we love or we will be astonished. Anyone? 
I will prophesy to you something new which nobody knows. All of you today will drink water. Yeah. Don't tell me how I know that. Please. It's a secret I cannot share. You know, have you ever heard of a prophet? He prophesied about himself. Let us go to the Quran. <clears throat> the yellow pages of Islam in the Quran he says all right chapter 61 verse number six uh, too bad it's not six 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 uh, that would be perfect <laughs> And when Isa doesn't say Jesus, by the way, this is a false translation. When Isa, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am a messenger of Allah into you, confirming that which was revealed before me uh, in the Torah, and bring the good tiding uh, of a messenger who cometh after me, who his name is the praised one, which is Ahmed. The translation is not really. Uh, they translate the word the name okay now who is the one who said that supposedly it's Isa but no guess what it's Muhammad saying that because we cannot find this in any book in the world so if I make a verse saying that Isa said about me I mean, who in the world want to believe that? I am the one who said that. I am the one who made this verse. Nobody heard this verse before. And by the way, your prophet name is Ahmed or Muhammad? If we change the translator, you will see how Muslims, they try always to hide the truth. Let us go. Choose different translator. What is the name of this prophet? Ahmed okay Ahmed ie Muhammad but Ahmed is not Muhammad I mean there's a huge difference in the pronunciation a huge difference in the writing and the name should not be changed so is the name is a name or it is a title that to prove what the Christian Prince says there's a guy he's from the Middle East he's an Arab he's a Christian his name is a Christian Prince he claimed that Muhammad name, real name, is not Muhammad, neither Ahmad. And you just approve it. He gave himself this name. So Muhammad, he gave himself titles. He gave himself names. He gave himself praising. He made the prophecies about him. And that will make him a prophet. Guess what? There is a messenger, Isa said, there is a messenger, his name is a Christian prince, and he will come after me. Okay, who said that uh, message, a Christian prince? Uh, Isa. Isa said that? Yeah. But we never heard it before from anyone except you. So, in fact, the one who made this is Muhammad. So, this is a prophet who prophesied about himself. But in the past tense, claiming that people speak about him coming. Have you ever heard of such a joke? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Please uh, maintain your nice language in the text. And be nice to Muslims. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a who is a a, a proud Muslim, happy Muslim? I, I take this one, happy Muslim. I never saw one. They are always angry, shouting. Happy Muslim. Someone saying, "Isn't it Allah saying that?" No, my friend. Hold on. This is a good question. One of you saying, "Isn't it Allah saying that?" My friend, no, because. We did not see Allah. We did not heard Allah. We did, this is the one is talking is Muhammad. 
What is the proof that the one who said that is Allah? And if Allah, just to show you another thing, okay, guys, if Isa he made a prophecy about a guy he will come after him, his name is Ahmad. Shouldn't Allah at least protect this prophecy? At least, otherwise, what the point? As I can it says, brother and sister, what the point? So if Isa he said that, and Allah did not preserve at least one verse of what Isa said. Isn't it that fishy? If Isa said that, which is supposed to be Jesus, we don't know even what the name Isa came from. Even the name is wrong. But if uh, Yeshua, or in Arabic we say Yeshua, is the one who said that, shouldn't Allah, pro, you know, preserve this prophecy? Because this is should go to generation until Muhammad come, but it's not preserved. So it's a mistake of who? You know what I'm saying? If we are Zakir Naik, let me call him. Taradam, 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 Taradam. Sorry, the, the, the ring is going slow because the internet is slow in uh, Bangladesh, uh, in Malaysia. In Malaysia is now. Taradam, 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 Taradam. Great Prince, I'm not going to answer you. And it doesn't matter how much you try, and I will never give you an answer. Zakir Naik, hold on first. How you know I am it's a Christian prince? First of all, you are the only one who called me after the middle of the night. Secondly, you are a crazy, and you repeat your question, and I know the question you are going to ask me about. Uh, okay, what is the question? You are going to ask me how Allah He swear by the fig. Uh, by what? By the fig. Um, no. Okay, you are going to ask me how Allah is God, but yet he swear by olive. Mm, no. Okay, you are going to ask me how Allah is God, but he do not know how the sperm is coming from. Um, no. Okay, let me call a friend. Yeah, what friend? I have always people watching you, and they will tell me. Hold on. Okay. You are going to ask me about the chapter 61, verse number 6. How you know that, Zakir Naik? Did Jibreel told you? No, it's stupid, stupid. I have one of my students there watching your video right now as we speak. Okay. So how Allah says in the Quran that Isa said, there is a prophet will come after me, his name is Ahmad, and yet Allah did not preserve the verse. What the point of this verse if we cannot preserve it? Because this is should be preserved until Muhammad he appear. Christian Prince, this is the first time you have a point, and I agree with you. But the fact that verse is preserved, but it is preserved in the heart of Allah. Uh, Allah have a heart? Not literally. Allah he preserved it for himself. Uh, where he preserved it? He preserved it. He have like a you know a tablet. Uh, but the Quran says that only the Quran is preserved in the tablet, not. Uh, uh, the Bible this is true but I believe that Allah he preserved it somewhere and he did not tell us this is God this is religion this is what they have for you somebody he makes fun of you and you Muslims open your mind like wow brother this is very wow so, so smart if this verse is a true, this verse should be preserved until Muhammad came. Otherwise, what the point of this verse? Where we can find this verse? And then we come after 600 years, and then we find a guy, his name is Didat. He says to us that he found Muhammad in the uh, Song of Songs. Like Abdul, the verse here says that the one who said that about Ahmad, not Muhammad first, and secondly, it should be in the New Testament, not in the Old Testament. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call? Maybe, maybe. Anyone?
So we have a guy who claimed that somebody speak about him and that somebody his name is Asa and we do not know who is Asa and then we study who is Asa we found that Asa is the nephew of Moses. So how this man can be a prophet? Who made him a prophet? How Muhammad became a prophet? And then we go back to the article as long as there's no Muslims calling what we can do. I mean, sadly. The verse in the Quran saying that Muhammad, he confirmed that he knew nothing except what is revealed for him. Muslims, what is revealed for him? That the sun set in the murky water. That women are half a brain. That man should beat his wife and that will make her a better wife. Is that the fixer? Is that how you fix society? Ordering men to beat their wives? And that will make my wife better for me? What better what? What kind of a human being? He teach his followers claiming that Allah told him to beat them. What will happen if we beat our wife? What exactly we accomplish? Muhammad, he made it clear that using violence with women is the right of the man. And that will make her obedience. Hmm. So we have a smart God who claimed that he have a smart knowledge it's an almighty knowledge. I mean, come on. This is almighty knowledge. This is not just a knowledge. And the Muslim, when they translate this verse, look what they do. And admonish them first. Next, if you do share bed with them in the bed. Last, beat them lightly. Beat them lightly. Where it says in the Quran, lightly. You think we have a light brain, Abdul? Let us go to the story and see if Muhammad really was teaching his men to beat his wives, their wives lightly. And the Quran doesn't say that. It says, If you change the translator right away, you will find the trans different translator. He is more honest. Maybe by mistake, being honest. Lightly disappear. And here it says, discourage them. Now, lightly or not lightly, what is the wisdom of beating a woman? She will love you more. She will be more good to you. Or she will cheat on you. She will hate you. She will try to find another guy who is nicer than you. What is the wisdom of me? Beating my wife to force her to do things for me. What is the accomplishment? And if they obey you, which means all of this is to make them obey. If they obey you, then seek nothing against them. So the whole purpose of this was to make the women obedience or obedient by violence, by beating them. Why? Any Muslim want to tell us what is the logic of this? What is the intelligence in this? You beat your wife, she will cheat on you. She will find another husband. She will leave you. She will hate you. And that is a proof that you are a coward. You could not find a man to fight with him, so you beat a woman. Out of the house, you are a chicken. Inside the house, you are a lion. Most of men, if not all of them, who beat their women inside and door, they are seeking a proof that they are men. They have mental problem and Muhammad is teaching us to be mental people imagine how harmful it is that you are a child and you are watching your dad beating your mom 
it is something you will is going to stay in your memory for the rest of your life how many of you Muslims really enjoy watching your dad beating your mother so when we say that Allah is God well this God he is a very very bad God this is satanic teaching and the funny the Quran here says well tahafuna no shoes a hun no shoes is used twice in the Quran let us do a little search because this is the reason to beat them no shoes so what no shoes is many they lie to us and they say on oh, no the shoes that means she is a cheating her husband don't lie Abdul don't lie a woman she cheat and her husband in Islam she will be executed don't lie As you see, there's two verses in the Quran speaking about new shoes. When the man he do new shoes, it's okay in Islam. The verse number four one twenty eight, it's about Muhammad doing new shoes to his wife. He don't like them no more. His wife Sauda, she became old and heavy, and Muhammad he stopped sleeping with her, and rumors spread. He in purpose he spread it to tell her I'm thinking about divorcing you. So then Aisha she convinced the women, listen, he will divorce you. What about you give your day for me? Because that will make Aisha make more money. When Muhammad he come to the house of Aisha, all the gifts come to the house of Muhammad. Wherever he is, it come. But Aisha, it make it inclusive, only come or exclusive, only to her. Only in her house, people they can send gifts. So she made uh, uh, Sauda, the poor woman, agree to give her day to Aisha. In return, the Prophet will not divorce her. So if a man he do no shoes, the woman she cannot beat him. And look how the translation come. If a woman feared ill treatment, so it's ill treatment of the man. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. The man, he can do ill treatment, which means he can treat his wife badly. It's okay. If the woman, she do ill treatment, beat her. The same chapter, the same Quran, and your translation. We have a Muslim he is posting for us that he loved the Kaaba well my friend this is another proof that Muhammad is a false prophet that is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet believing in stones and kissing as stones it's a sign of paganism it's a clear pagan teaching what kind of a prophet mr. Fahim teach you that if you kiss a stone and touch a stone, stones will forgive your sin. You Muslims, you spend the day says, oh, we worship only one God. Oh, we worship only one God, the oneness of God. No, you worship gods. And, uh, you know, as we see, we have additional to Allah, we have stones. Oh, Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only... see you touching these two corners uh, here we go more muslims they are putting uh, <laughs> more muslims are putting the kaaba for us pagans why only i see you touching those corners he said i heard the messenger of allah says touching them erase sins you muslims believe in stones can erase sin
well uh, mr. Fahim we don't worship a, a cross and Jesus never says to anyone to kiss a cross but you're a prophet he kiss a stone at least the cross is where Jesus he died on the cross symbolic for his sacrifice but Christians don't worship crosses you Muslims believe that those stones are living stones and actually there's a hadith where Muhammad he says that the black stone is the right hand of Allah and not only that Muhammad he claimed that the black stone is going to speak And is going to witness for Muslims and this is why Muhammad he said that the black stone is the right hand of Allah this is a very 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 clear proof that Islam is a pagan cult The messenger of Allah said about the black stone by Allah Allah will raise it on the day of resurrection with two eyes by which it sees and tongue that it speaks hmm. interesting and yet they say to us that Islam is not a pagan cult we have a black stone just to make it uh, more clear for those who they are reading to understand what's happening here uh, you know I cannot resist use my uh, ability and skills of art as you know I'm very artistic and I won many prize when it's come to drawing things on the black stone so according to your prophet the black stone is going to have two eyes Ooh, how zigzag Oh, look at this. Wow. And the black stone is going to have a mouth. Yamma mia. And the black stone is going to have a tongue. What? Tongue. This is what your prophet he just said, and I challenge you to say I'm lying. And the black stone in the judgment day is going to do. I mean, how she can report everybody who touched her. There's millions and millions and millions of people touch the stone and kiss it. So Allah is Almighty God. Hey, by the way, guys, I have copyright over this. Don't take it, print it, put it in your room, or set it in. You know, come on. I mean, let me put my signature here, so nobody will. Uh, We'll take it and uh, you know uh, let me put my signature my name is Muhammad Ahmad Hamid Hamid Ahmad Ali Muhammad Ismail Shish whatever Ahmad Ahmad yeah, yeah, uh -huh, you uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, signature okay here uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah this is the signature Okay, so nobody can use it for his own purpose. You never know these days. I mean, they take your art and they say it somewhere. So who is the Muslim want to believe in such a thing that Muhammad is a prophet? He's making a prophecy. This is a prophecy that in the judgment day, you have a stone, is going to have a tongue, is going to have a mouth, is going to have eyes. By the way, what happened to the nose? Muhammad did not mention the nose. Uh, 
And by the way, the black stone does not is not the black stone. Where is the black stone? There's only little tiny stones in the wax. This is wax. You see the black thing? This is a wax. Maybe, maybe many of you do not notice. Black stone is gone. When Al Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba and he took the black stone and he made it as a purple stone for 20 years, 21 years, he returned for them little tiny stones. And then they put it inside the wax in the shape of the old stones. The stone is gone. How come Allah did not preserve his stones? If this stone is going to survive in the judgment day. And now we have little seven or eight tiny stones. As you see, I don't know if you can notice with me. If we go here, if we zoom in, you will see little tiny stones. There's nothing left of the stones. They are just putting wax around the stones, you know. They are gone. There's no stones. And they do wax in almost every week. They do maintenance. So obviously Islam is a pagan cult teach fictions and Disneyland stories when Muhammad in the Quran or in that article the Muslims they showed us they say that Muhammad he knew nothing of himself in the chapter of the animals and I am nothing Muhammad he say of his own okay so when Muhammad he says that the black stone is going to come with two eyes and a tongue he is not making that up Allah told him that now you tell me how Allah he says such a stupid thing Anyone? Who is really a Muslim? He believed that Muhammad is a truly a prophet by saying that. Uh, Fahim, he says, when the Christian pray to naked Jesus, my friend, that's stupid of you to say. First of all, there is no there. There is no naked Jesus. Jesus right now in the sky, and you are being an idiot. And if somebody making a cross have a naked man in it, that's his fault. That's not the fault of Jesus. Because first of all, this is not Jesus, and Jesus right now is alive, and Jesus never said to them to do that. We are talking about the prophet teaching. You are talking about what people do. And that will not change the fact that your prophet is a pagan prophet. Uh, you are trying here just to insult. You want to insult? No problem. There's, there's things me as a man I do. You cannot judge Christ by me. Let us say I am, you know, I became a drug dealer. Can you judge Christ by me? I am a follower, not the opposite. So if I am a bad follower, that will make me a bad follower. But Jesus never said to me, be a drug dealer. But your prophet said, be a thief. You know, as an example, Muhammad the prophet, as long as we mentioned the word thief. Hmm? In the Quran, Muhammad, he claimed that if somebody commits, uh, he stole something, we have to cut his hand. Okay. What if he steal? Like what? What is the penalty exactly and for what a crime? Muhammad said, just this is additional proof that Muhammad is a liar. Read this with me. Why somebody will lose his hand?
If you steal something equal to 25 cents and more, they will cut your hand. Is that right? Or he stole an egg. Is that right? So for stealing an egg, you lose your hand. But Muhammad was, his living, his, his, his life is based on theft. If you steal an egg, they have to cut your hand. What if you are a person who do a robbery? Who is a Muslim want to answer me about that? As you see, your prophet saying, if you steal an egg, if you steal 25 cents, we cut your hand. What if somebody, he, is a, he do a robbery? What is the punishment? Who is a Muslim want to answer me? If you steal a robe, a robe, or an egg, his hand will be cut off. Do you see it? This is not my words. This is this is sahih. This is sahih. This is not Christian prince saying that. Is that accurate, Muslims? So if somebody he stole an egg, we cut his hand. Question: If somebody did a robbery, what is the penalty? Any Muslim? Hello? We have 1,200 only. Where is everybody? They went to Disneyland or what? Why we have only 1,200? Okay, let us increase the number. Later we are going to talk about lipstick and makeup. And short skirt. And now you will see how the number will increase. And versions. Hot versions in the heaven of Allah. Very hot. To the point you can put an egg in her skin and she is going, that egg will be boiling immediately. Very hot. Hmm? Any Muslim? What is the punishment of somebody he did robbery? As you see, if somebody stole an egg, we cut his hand. Remember Muhammad in the article, the Muslim, they quote for us a verse saying, anything Muhammad, Muhammad, he knew nothing. Anything he say, it is from Allah. All right? So this is what Allah told him. How Allah told him, he sent him a guy, his name is Jibreel. He squeezed him three times. And Muhammad never said to this man who is a stranger, stop touching me, which I find it very weird. I mean, a man, the angel, he came to him as a man, not in the look of an angel with like wings. No, he come to him as a man and he started squeezing him. Shouldn't Muhammad say, why you are touching me? Shouldn't he push him away? No, Muhammad, he like it. And this is how the prophet became a prophet by squeezing him. And this is why I'm still not uh, married. What if I get married and my wife squeezes me for some reason? Like I swallow something and she want to get it out from my mouth. She so squeezed me and then bingo, I became a prophet. And my name it will be changed from a Christian prince to Muhammad. Any Muslim want to tell us what is the punishment for somebody? He stole an egg. Anyone? No? 
why this is happening look guys Muhammad who the one who said if you steal an egg we cut your hand look what he said the hand of the one who betrays a trust and the robber and the let me have I don't know how to say it, to read this one give me a week belief rear belief belief okay hold on an Arab guy trying to read English the the belief uh, belief okay guys you read it I will give you time to read it it's not me who do not know how to read it but I'm sure you can read it uh, you know I will let it read it by yourself it is not to be cut off so a guy he's still an egg we cut his hand and a robber we don't cut his hand have you ever heard of a madness uh, somebody help me I'm reading this word he says it is bill fear beer bill fear beer. Uh, 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 hold on no. uh, uh, bill, bill 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 Billy Clinton okay let's just let it go so if I steal an egg you cut my hand but if I betray a trust so somebody like betray the, the Muslim nations somebody he is a robber you know what robber mean that like he go to the bank and he take millions so the guy who do rob and steal millions we will not kiss get his hand but if he steal an egg brother we cut his hand is that a religion Somebody's asking me, is salvation granted in Islam? For sure it's granted. Don't you see? I mean, how smart this religion is. So the one who cut an egg, who steal an egg or a rope, we cut his hand. And then the poor, the, the, this poor guy, because the one who st steal an egg, guys, is somebody is hangry, correct? I mean, obviously he is not really, is somebody want to feed his kids maybe. He's still an egg. Did not even steal a chicken it is an egg so we cut his hand because he stole an egg and the one who do robbery steal millions we do nothing to him what kind of God this God is Anyone knows why Muhammad he said that if you are uh, doing a robbery we don't cut your hand because he was one of them all his men they are called a Salik the Salik is a group of men who they are denounced by their tribes they 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 throw them out they are outlaw criminals all of them they are thieves this is why if you do a robbery no punishment Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? What do you think Muslims? It's okay to do robbery, but we cannot take an egg? Is that the religion of peace and ethic? The one who steal from the government because this is what it says here or steal it from a business like you work for you you hire a muslim to work for you according to this verse here the teaching of muhammad and he takes some money from the box the cashier machine there's no punishment read it it's not me who's saying that this is the muslim translation this is the muslim publishing and this is muhammad is talking and this is the hadith number and it is sahih which means very authentic Anyone?
what happened how many of you is saving reference any one of you is saving reference here anyone do you know how to find those hadith we show on the screen let me teach you something very simple because some of you says uh, pause the link or etc you can just type a few words let us see here the one who betrays a trust you can type it in the search engine as it is go here type it there and you will find the hadith it's very simple you know we made it easy for you so even if I did not post the hadith link for you still you can find it right very simple And you can use Prophet Google peace upon him because he's better than Muhammad and Jibreel and Allah together. As you see, Muhammad he feel teaching bad ethic. Muhammad is teaching me that if I am working in a cashier machine for somebody, I can take money from the box and I'm not a thief. Because simply I only betray a trust. And if I'm a robber, a thief with gun or a sword or a knife go in the street and say to somebody give me your wallet or give me your back somebody he just left the, the bank or I go inside the bank and I take all the money in the bank I am NOT a thief and there's no punishment for me anyone now we have to uh, we have to remember <clears throat> Muhammad the prophet he come with amazing rules like we showed you how he teach Muslim to beat their wives but maybe we did not show you that the Muslim they say that beating is lightly to the point you can make your wife skin greener than her clothes do you see how light the beating is? I mean, all of this is a good ethic. A woman, she came to Aisha and she said to her, and this is Sahih Bukhari, as you see, very authentic. And Aisha, she witnessed that nobody have a bad life as much as a Muslim woman. Aisha, she said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Why are you saying that? Why Muslim women suffering more than all women in the world? And who is the one saying that? Is that the women she work for a Christian prince? This is Aisha. The favorite Barbie of the Prophet. Did I say Barbie? I should not mention that word. Guys, do you know that in the heaven? I mean, do you see how the ideas come to my head? Here we go. I remember this now. Do you know that in the heaven of Allah, there is a version Allah will give her to you. Her name is Barbie. Literally. Do you know that? Like what? Like what? What? Yes, brother. Allah in the heaven will give you a Barbie. A Barbie doll. A Luba. Who's a Muslim when I say I'm lying? Who is a Muslim will say I am lying? That Allah will give you a woman, her name is a Luba, Barbie. And she is so Barbie, man. I cannot wait to go to heaven. All my life I wanted to have a Barbie. Let us go back to that topic. But good, I remember this hadith. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, where we can find this hadith? This is a good question. Uh, here we go. This is the book. It's called Al-Buhuru Zakhira Fi Ulumi Al-Akhira 
volume number two. Which page? Page number two, three, four. And this is exist in many books anyway. It says, Ibn Mas'ud said, Inna fil jannata hawra yuqalu laha al if, 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 if. In the heaven, there is a hawra, a whore woman. Yum, yummy. It's called a lurba, the barbie. All the whore of heaven, they will be amazed with her. So she is one of the whore, but she is different. She is the barbie one. And they hit their hands over their her shoulder, which means the Barbie shoulder. And they say to her, bless you. Bless you, Barbie. If the Muslims knew about you, they will work hard to come here. And then between her eyes is written, من كان يبتغي أن يكون له مثلي فليعمل برضا ربي. If, 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 if. Between her two eyes it says, the one who wished to have one like me, he have to obey my God. <laughs> and this is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet. This is a prophecy. The prophet who promised us Barbies. There's a song, it's called I'm a Barbie something. I heard it once. What is that? I'm truly, truly, truly convinced. Truly. Hmm? Who is a Muslim in the chat who would like to say something? Look, no Muslim is texting me. No Muslim is calling me. No Muslim saying anything. That's a good sign. Muslims, they agree that this is the... Actually, we are showing the reference. I mean, what they can say? What they can say? Have you ever heard C. Christian Prince speaking about something without showing the reference? Even sometimes I might struggle to find the reference but I insist before I go like yesterday I was really tired I want to go yet I was trying my best to find the reference and I did not leave until I found it any Muslim would like to tell us something useful I'm really really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet of God. The only God who promised us Barbies. Now, let us uh, be honest. How many of you men here like to have Barbie? I mean, come on, like, come on. Come on, like, the, 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 uh, women, close your, close your eyes and uh, uh, close your ears. Uh, just, this is men talking to men. Hey, men, how many of you like to have a Barbie? Finally. We will get a Barbie. <laughs> Me. And yes, she will be very white. This is not very white, by the way. She's blonde. Muhammad, he said, they will be very white to the point you can see through their bones. I mean, didn't you have enough yet that Muhammad is a prophet? Somebody is asking about what? Ishmael, hold on. Where is where is the post your question again? You know, the text is jumping like crazy here. We have a thousand, two hundred, three hundred people. What was the question about Ishmael, my friend? Type it again so I can see it. The problem here in my side, the chat jump. I mean, it's very, it goes very fast. It doesn't update slowly. Brothers and sisters, 
who is Ishmael okay we will talk about that no problem don't you like to have a Barbie mean imagine Christian Prince and I look really bad I mean I don't have mirrors in my house just to avoid seeing myself I get scared I go fishing I don't do fishing actually I look at the water the fish die that's it I go in the elevator I say good morning nobody answer I say good evening nobody answer people are scared they think like this is a candy camera program or something so finally me the poor me, I will have a Barbie if I convert to Islam. How I can skip that? How? It's impossible. A brothers and sisters. Uh, let us ask Zachary Naik about uh, the Barbie thing. Uh, ta dum ta dum Sorry, guys, I have to call him because we don't have a direct connection. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not Jibreel to squeeze him three times and he will wake up. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, I told you to leave me alone and I'm not going to answer you. But I have a very important question. It's a very short one, please. Say please again. If you say please again, and then I will answer you. Okay, please, please, please. Okay, here we go. See, I will, I will answer you now. <laughs> I met Christian friend, they bleed. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what did the question uh, about the Barbie? The prophet, he said that in the heaven we will have a Barbie. Is that true? First of all, this is not really a Barbie. He is made from a flesh of a human being. The Barbie is made from Peter Platic or silicon. And this is different. But it's called in Arabic, a Luba. I don't speak Arabic. But yeah, I don't speak Arabic, I understand, but you are a sheikh, you are a scholar, you don't speak Arabic, that's amazing. So how the the, the prophet says it's a luba, it's a barbie, and why he called it such a way? Because he is very sexy and very beautiful. If you look at the barbie, all of them, they look so good to be true. And this is exactly what Allah, he promised us in the heaven. They will be so beautiful with big... Uh, <coughs> okay, okay, Zakan, I, I get it. They will have big uh, fingers. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not about fingers. They have uh, big, uh, okay, okay, they have big nose. Christian friends, you are stupid. I mean, everybody gets it except you. They have big, uh, uh, like, okay, hold on. Uh, they have uh, long nails. Christian friends, you are crazy. I mean, come on. They have big, uh, big, uh, oh, they have a big, big what? Big shoes. What the big? If you go in the Quran and let me help you, because you are stupid and you are ignorant. Okay, we will go to the Quran. In the Quran, if we open it right now, we will see that Allah He promised men that they will have women with big boobs. Big, big, big what? Big boobs. Chapter 878, verse number 33. Have you ever heard of a God? He promised men that they will have women with big boobs. Hmm? This is what make Muhammad a prophet? He is describing for us the size of the women abreast. What if we like them small? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, obviously, this is from God. I mean, who is who? Who else beside God? He promised us women with big breasts. No way. I mean, you will find this only either in uh, Las Vegas, Thailand, and uh, with Allah, three places only. They give you a brochure. We have women with big breasts. You go in the bathroom. You find the sticker. You know when a 
when I was uh, uh, I used to work before with the army so we travel a lot and always most of the time we have to we have a layout in Las Vegas so the, the, you know they pay for the hotel etc you go to the bathroom the, the public bathroom in the hotel uh, you know you will find they leave uh, stickers in the bathroom for men and the the stickers have all kind of, like this big breast brother call this number call me Barbie what is that this is God how this is be or can be the same teaching as Jesus teaching anyone Abdullah he said he want to call me where is mr. Abdullah is a free to him he's more than welcome to call me where is Abdullah who is a Muslim would like to call us? Please give us your ID in, in Skype and I will I will be happy to call you. Any Muslim? And look at this heaven. Who is a Muslim is proud to be a Muslim would like to give us a call anyone where is all the Ustaz of Indonesia Ustad Ustad they call themselves Ustad not even a single one of them he dare to give me a little call and get me busted thank you Cecilia all, all those hearts for me okay that's it what about give me livers I need something to for lunch <laughs> a brother a brother how you can wait for a second brother without converting to this religion you will get Barbies, a lot of women, even boys. Boys. Have you ever heard of a God? He promised me 80,000 little boys. And the Muslim, they say, to serve me. I mean, what kind of a human being? He got happy for abusing children's 80,000 little children's. Hmm? What is the happiness in that? Eighty thousand little boys. They will be walking around me naked, and they are so white like pearls. This is God. And by the way, if the heaven, in the heaven of Allah, your clothes will never be ruined, they will never get dirty, you will never sweat, you will not take a shower, and your food, if you wish to say something, if you wish something is going to be in front of you before even, I mean, like in a blink of an eye, it's not the servant will bring it to you. So why you need the servants, if those are servants? Any Muslim can explain? There is a video I wish I can play it for you but for your health security I do not the last time I played this video it was in a church literally people they fell down in the ground especially with my comment about the video the video is called the description of paradise by doctor what his name Hold on, let me find it. Uh, 
I, I will try to find it for you because there's tons of them. Here we go. This one, Doctor Ibrahim Dermilli. You see it here. I have one line of chairs fail down from laughing. Literally, they fail down. They could not hold themselves. The video is hilarious, but my comment make it more crazy. This is why I don't advise you actually to attend any of my sem seminars in person because you might have a heart attack. People, they were sweating. People cannot breathe. People, they cannot stop laughing. Some people, they have to leave. They cannot take it no more. But if you watch the video alone, maybe you will not notice how stupid it is. I wish I can play it for you, but, you know, they will say uh, copyright and, you know, otherwise it would be really fun. Will be the biggest, the best, the best comedy ever you saw in your life. You want to attend my seminar? Well, I'm not doing any seminar no more because uh, it's cost a lot, traveling, etc. I mean, if I am invited, I will go depend. And I prefer to go to poor countries, not really to, you know, I, lo I love being with the poor people. I don't know why, don't ask me. Uh, so if I'm invited to uh, those places, I will go. Last time I did a seminar, it was in Texas, big, very big, a huge church. It was very good, actually, but I don't really enjoy, uh, I don't know how to explain to you. Do we have any Abdul? Yeah, India, you know, but uh, as I know in India, you cannot attack Islam. I think they have a they have a law that says you cannot do that, right? They criminalize the one who insult the prophet. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any Abdul here? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Uh, if you have a Chaldean church, I think it's better if you invite someone like Sam Shamoon. Sam Shamoon, he speak the language. He don't even need to speak English. And he would do a very good job. So do we have any Muslim or not? <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, come on. Do something. Imran Abdullah want to call me. But where is his Skype? Uh, Imran Abdullah, give me your Skype, my friend. I was baptized in a church in Texas. No, I was baptized in the Middle East. Where is uh, Mr. Abdullah ID? Uh, Amran, are you there? Give me your ID, please, so I can call you. Yeah, but he have to give me his Skype ID, guys. How I can call? Like, just go to Skype and call. Call who? You have to give me his ID. The guys are acting like that. They are asking God to make somebody to win the lotto. But he did not buy the lotto yet. And he will never buy it because it's very cheap. His Skype ID is Imram Abdullah. Let me try to find it if this is true. Okay. Somebody posting Imran Abdullah. I found Abdullah Imran. 
Is that the one? And I found Abdullah Abu Imran. Okay, let us say hi. If he him, he will answer. I send you a hi, Mr. Abdullah Amram. Please answer. Call Yahya Waluni. How I can call him? I don't use phone. Give me his Skype. If he is live, I will call him. Yeah, yeah, well, Looney, but Looney, we will call anyone, don't worry. We are willing to call all the baloney in the world. Anyone? And the one who call us, we will give him cookies. Cookies made in the heaven of Allah. By the way, did you hear about the story of the spider the spider which saved the prophet this guy Abdullah he did not answer me my friend obviously the name is wrong this is a fake Abdullah there is a story the Muslim they spread around that a spider when the prophet he went inside the cave the spider he made a whip to save the prophet oof, 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 oof. true story brother very true story so when the infidels they chased the prophet they went inside the cave and they saw a lot of a spider whip they said there's no way he was here guess what this story is not exist and here we go, I'm here. Who is the Muslim want to show me where you Muslim got this story from? The spider story, which is posted in every Muslim website and in every Muslim video. Where we can find this story? Anyone? Fabrication. We don't find resource for this. No source for it. It's a fabrication and the fantasies of Muslims trying to make their prophet has miracles. Anyone want to prove me wrong? It's a challenge. Where we can find this story? Guys, yesterday. I don't know if I should tell you this story because it's very touching. I went to my garage and I wanted to grab a tool for the garden and a spider start talking to me. And he was start singing a song for me. Inspired by the Quran, which is saying, backbone, backbone, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you, backbone, backbone? And I said, hey, spider, how do you know about the backbone? He said, it's amazing science. Only Allah, he knew that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. I was like, what? How you know? Even spiders, they knew about And he said to me, Christian, don't you know that my name is in the Quran and there's a chapter with my name? Hey, by, by the Muslims, why there's a chapter in the Quran it's called the Spider? Al Ankabud. How are you, Muhammad Qasim? Look, Muhammad Qasim is here. He's here. What happened to Muhammad? Let us call Muhammad Qasim. Muhammad Qasim, are you online, my friend? We like to hear your opinion. At least one Muslim today speak to us. You are online. I can see you. <coughs> Muhammad, uh, we are calling you. Hey, hold on. I cannot come. It's working now. Hey, Muhammad, how are you? Hello, 
How are you, Mr. Muhammad? Where you been, man? We were not receiving calls from you. What happened? You give up? <laughs> no, no, just uh, just listening in. That's it. I don't know. I thought you left Islam or something. No, no. I'm uh, Alhamdulillah. I'm happy with this one. Okay, my friend, I have a question, which is uh, you know something uh, people they are asking me about. Maybe you can help us. Is that okay? Uh, let me just put the other headphones on. This one's not that good. Yeah, those one are not good. Yeah, just give me two minutes. Sure, sure. I will call you back in two minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, well, guys, finally we have Muhammad here. He's going to help us, and uh, look like we are going to have a very good time. Very, very good time. All right. We will have Mr. Muhammad with us in two uh, minutes. <clears throat> How many here we have now? We have 1,300. I mean, today is slow. I don't know why. What is that? Why is why it's slow? Huh? What is the problem? Something fishy. Maybe Jibril in town delivering messages to everybody. Please invite your friends. We will have uh, Mr. Muhammad. Read Musnad Ahmad narrated. Uh, here we go, Musnad Ahmad. Uh, we cannot find source for the story. I told you this is Musnad Ahmad, and in the Musnad Ahmad, it says that the story is fabricated. Call me Abbas so we can laugh at the story, Musnad Ahmad. All Muslims agree that this story is fabricated. <laughs> Musnad Ahmad. I feel sorry for you, Abbas. I know that you know they will go and search and they will quote for me Musnad Ahmad. And look here, if as long Muslim proper he is saying Musnad, uh, 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 Musnad Ahmad, that's mean he cannot deny Musnad Ahmad no more. Be my witness. Let me put the text of, uh, uh, because this is an opportunity actually. He quote for us from Musnad Ahmad. So later when we show you what Musnad Ahmad said, you don't say I don't agree with Musnad Ahmad. <laughs> Let me let me look for uh, uh, the post of a Muslim proper. I will go back. I will put it in the screen so people will, will remember that for some time. Here we go. The Arabian Prophet, Teed Musnad Teed. Okay, Teed. Separate net, separate net. Musnad Ahmad three two five one. It is narrated by Ibn Abbas. A story of the spider. There is yours evidence. <laughs> you got busted again <laughs> uh, you know uh, a Muslim proper after I finish with Muhammad I will call you get ready so we can love together you promise you promise to open the hadith and read it for us oh boy are you ready, uh, Mr. Uh, Muhammad? Uh, somebody asking about the German translation. I think is going to be out in the coming maybe 24 hours, 48 hours. So those who are waiting for it, it's going to be out soon. Hey, Muhammad, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. So I, I do. I want, to, I want to point out some of your deceptions. Uh -huh. You used um, in the in the in the last um, video. All right, go ahead. Yeah, look, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, so you said um, you said basically women um, will go hell because they are on their menses, mm -hmm. but the hadith itself does not say that. You kind of you added to that. The hadith says that the deficient oh, in religion. The hadith does not say that. 
No, the hadith says that they are deficient in religion. It doesn't say that they're going to hell because they're on that uh, period. Okay, let us see. So that's a deception. Oh, You're okay. deceiving okay, people. Hold on. Let us see if this is true or not. I, I want you to say, I want you to promise that if this is what the hadith is saying, you will agree that your prophet is a bad man or a stupid. What do you say? <laughs> If this is what the hell is saying, that women they will go to, to hell because of deficiency. One of them is about the religion, which is the menses, and the other one because they are stupid. So if I prove that, you will agree that your prophet is a false prophet. Do you agree? What I'm saying is the narration doesn't say nothing that they're going to go to hell this because of their period. No, don't share it. You are making a challenge here. You are, you are saying, everybody heard you, you are saying that the uh, I am deceiving, right? Yeah. Okay. So if I prove that I was not deceiving, and this is what your prophet meant, is that what it prove? Is that why you are angry because your prophet looks stupid there, and you are trying to defend, or just you are trying to prove that this is not what it says? No. What I'm saying is that if you can show um, mm. that just because of the fact that she's on a period, just a natural reason, mm. she's going to hell because of that, mm. then you have a good argument against Islam, but you have no argument so far. Okay. Read the hate for me. It's in the front of you on the screen. Uh, one minute, let me score YouTube. So he says, I do not see more defective in respect of reason and religion than the, um, just, um, so, so than a woman. And the woman asked, why is the defect of reason and religion? He replied, the defect of reason is the testimony of two women, but one man. And the defect of a faith is that one of you does not fast during Ramadan. Um, so the, yeah, so the defect of religion here. So it does. It still doesn't say that they're going to hell okay, okay, because. On, on, on. Okay, so so we agree, me and yeah. you, right now, that the two defect is so clear. One of them is about women are not wise. The proof of that that two women equal to one man, correct? And the other one is their menses, correct? Yeah. Okay. So there is only two defect. P people be my witness, and Mr. Muhammad, he agree with me. Now let us go to the other hadith which I was reading the other day. All right. Uh, actually, there is many of them, and uh, we can read any of them. Maybe if you want, even your choice. You know, like Muhammad is saying that most of women they are going to hell. Why they are going to go to hell? See, see, see what you just did now. You switched because we were talking about the women going to go to hell because of men. See, that's what you said. No, and now you uh, no, no, I'm not switching. This is the same hadith. This is the same hadith. Read it. Okay, let's start. All women given charity pray a great deal. Um, a woman who was wise said, Why is it almost your Lord? Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Read it, read it. All women give charity and pray and get a great deal. Hope for forgiveness. For I have seen that you from the majority of people of hell, yes or no? Yeah, yeah, they're okay. from uh, now. Why they will go, okay, why they will go yeah. to hell? Continue reading. Yeah, the hadith tells you. It tells you because of the. Um, it says a woman was. Um, they, they asked basically why we're going to be for the majority. He said, "You curse a great deal." And read, it, read, great it, read it. Read it. It's in front of you. It's read it. Read it. Yeah, I just read. Hmm. So, so he said, "You curse a great deal." Read it. And read, you it are... read it. No, read it. Read it. No, no, no. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read what? The hadith in front of you. Read it. Yeah, so he says, all women given charity pray a great deal for forgiveness. For I've seen that you are, you form the majority of the people of hell. Mm. A woman was uh, very wise, uh, was very wise. Said, why is it, O oh, Messenger of Allah, that we form the majority of the people of hell? He said, you curse a great deal and you're ungrateful to your husband. Mm. And I have never seen anyone lacking discernment and religion more uh, overwhelming to a man of wisdom than you. Mm. So you see, the, the first reason... Continue, continue is, reading, continue reading, continue reading. Yeah, so then it, then it talks about what, what's the lackman okay. in religion. So what is the reason there for them to go to hell? There's the hadith before both of both of us we agree that women they have a two defect One is about wisdom and one about religion The wisdom is their witnesses. They are half a brain and the religion they have their menstruation, correct? 
Muhammad did yep. not count in the previous hadith any other defect except this two. And now, she said, O Messenger of Allah, what is the lacking of discriminant, uh, discriminant in, in religion? He said, the lack of wisdom or uh, deficiency in the brain in the fact that testimony of two women equal to the testimony of one man. This is the lack of reason. And the yeah. women spend several nights when she does not pray. Why? Because she have her menstruation, correct? Yep. Okay. So the woman she said, "What is the reasoning? Reasoning for what? To go to hell?" No, no, no. So she, she, she asked the okay. reasoning. And Let us read this one. Her. This one will help us better. Read this one. Here, Muhammad. He said, "Here, I have seen none lacking in common sense and failing in religion." This is the Muslim translation, right? What yes, is the reason? What? Okay, you see, I'm, I'm wanting to show you all hadith was translated by Muslims. All of them, they confirm that the defect, the reason to go to hell, because you have a problem with the problem is your wisdom, deficiency in wisdom, and deficiency in religion. When a woman, she said, why, why, you know, we are going to go to hell? He said clearly that you have deficiency in spite of your lacking of in wisdom. And fear in religion, you are depriving uh, uh, the wastest of men of their intelligence. Upon that, no. woman, it's in the front of me. I'm reading your prophet words. Yeah, you're deceiving again. He says that because they're going to go hell is because. Okay. Um, so what is the reason? Okay, hold on, hold on. So what is the reason the women they will go to hell? If this is not the reason, why Muhammad mentioned it? That's a secondary point. A secondary no, point this is not the secondary point. This is not the secondary point. Muhammad, he said it clearly, and you agree. I did not see more defect in respect of reason and, and, and religion. So they have defect in religion. What that will lead them? That will lead them to go to hell. No, you, you see, you see, uh, the proper way I told him the reason, the reason was that because they are ungrateful to, to their husband, etc., etc., the curse and whatnot. So then he said that, uh, that because they're deficient in their religion, meaning that they're not practicing, they're not, when they don't pray, then it's, it's going to be more likely they're going to uh, do the wrong stuff. So that's a secondary. It's not saying that, okay, just okay. because you're okay. on your so you are, you're Okay, so you are saying that your prophet, he gave false reasoning, had nothing to do with that question. Because the question is, and the, their inquiry is, why we will go to hell? So why he's counting that they have deficiency? If this is not, the, pro that, if this is not the problem, yeah, yeah. if the problem yeah, is they will curse a lot, this is the problem, then he should not mention the other things because those are not, have not no connection according to you with the story no the the other things as we mentioned is is to show that the 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 position that they in the condition that they in is going to be more likely they're going to do wrong so because they're not praying so it's not saying that just because you're on your menses like uh, many women they're not on their menses but they're very pious so it's, it's just telling you that because you're not on it then you're going to start cursing or whatnot so that's why that's been mentioned uh, secondary reason. okay so you are saying to me if a woman she is any grateful to her husband she will go to hell yeah so if she is if she curses or she's a uh, ungrateful so if, Muhammad, if Muhammad he curse he will go to hell no this is a um, curse who, uh, who, who are you talking about curse, Cursing who? curse unjustly unjustly yeah uh, give me an example Good and unjustly. I mean that's subjective, isn't it? So, so you might say unjustly. Okay, here we go. You are saying if a woman she is ungrateful, and she curses, you know, she is going to go to hell. If Muhammad he do that, he will go to hell. No, firstly, firstly, Muhammad is he's our authority. So he's uh, if so if he does something, so he then, can do uh, something wrong. No, it's it's different when you when a for example a woman and a man, uh, she's got certain. Uh, this is another question. She has to fight if by. he do it and he is not justified, it's not justified. He is doing it wrong. Is he going to go to hell? Uh, give me show me show me the. Don't let me what, show what me. I'm said. asking you the question. I mean the question will change. The answer will change depending on what I show you. Um, the question is very simple. If Muhammad, if I am Muhammad now and I did beat you or curse you. And I have no right to do that. You did not, not do anything wrong. Is that justified or will take me to hell? Uh, so if he, if he uh, obviously he didn't do this unjustly. So if he cursed, then there was a reason behind the curse. And uh, um, yeah, so there was so a reason behind it. If it is, if it is unjustly, if it's confirmed to be unjustly, is he going to go to hell?
So if he feels unjustly, then it was incorrect. Okay. Well, does that mean he will go to hell? Um, um, I don't know how to answer that. To be honest. <laughs> So you have to show me the case. It's according to what you're going to show me. I'm going to answer. Because okay, here we go. This is your prophet saying, "Any man, I am a human being, and for any reason among Muslims upon whom I hurt, I invoke curse, I beat them, I made an agreement with Allah that will make it a condition of forgiveness for them. So your prophet, if he beat you and curse you unjustly." You go to heaven. Uh, let me read this. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so this is uh, this exception. So when it comes to exception, when he, so how a woman when if she curse if she curse unjustly, she go to hell. But the prophet and he is the best man. I mean, those are not the yeah. best uh, people in mankind, and they are not guided by God, and they are not a prophet, and they are just normal people. So if they curse, they go to hell. But the prophet himself, he curse and he beat people. And he yeah, used no, a so bad language. It says, the huma, which means saying to them the F word. No, no, it's not F word. It's not F word. Hold it's on. What he hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, here we go. It says, hold on. Hold on. It says, it says, it says, do you know what sabab to huma mean? Um, no. Mm. Do you know to say the F word or to say bad words? Lan is to curse, and subab is to say your mother yes, is yeah, etc. Your yes. dad is etc. Your etc. The me, private me. part of etc. Yeah. The F word of etc. That is what subab me. is. So, my friend, okay. you're a prophet saying, and look what he's saying. He made a condition on Allah. Do you agree that a man he can make condition with God that anyone he curse unjustly? And no, he, he say bad word unjustly to them, Allah will make them as source of uh, yeah. Listen, listen. So I remember I remember the story. So in the story, what happened was a man came and said that uh, I think the prophet said like you know way hacker or something like this, or uh, may your parents lose you and stuff like. This. So so the the man came and he asked uh, you know uh, you know this curse like what is it? And the, then the prophet said my curse what I'm going to be doing to you is going to be a mercy. So this is this shows you that whenever the prophet is saying for example uh, way hacker or something like this, then this is all is going to be mercy for that individual. How a curse which is unjustified, and he is even beating them. You know, the, the, the hadith is, is saying to us that Muhammad he beat people and he cursed them. And even there's a hadith different one, it says, If I did whip you, let me let me find the hadith. So, how a prophet uh he says such a thing, he, he's he's whipping people unjustly, he is using violence unjustly. And he is claiming say, that he made yeah, a condition. Can you, show me, can you show, like here he says that if he does it, can you show me where, where he actually hits someone? Yeah, here we go. It's in the front of you. Unjustly. It's in the front of you. Um. He doesn't say that he whipped. It says in the front of you, or give him a whipping. Do you see it? Give yeah, him so a he whipping. Said, Here we go. It's so, in so front it of you. What, what's wrong with you? A whipping, mm. No, it says if I give him a whipping, it'll be a source of mercy. But it doesn't say that he actually gave the whipping. Can you show me from an example where he actually well, gave the whipping? Well, he's saying that any one of you, which means he did it. Any one of you, I did it to him. I did this and this and that. All right? And this so must saying, be, this is, must I mean, be he, unjustly. He, 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 this is, must be I'm unjustly kidding. because he is saying that I did it unjustly because if it's just, he is just doing the order of Allah. Do you understand simple English? He is saying that, oh Allah, I am a human being for any person amongst Muslims whom I, uh, you know, basically curse and all this, or whip, mm. there will be a source of mercy. He's saying, whoever I do it to, it will be a mercy. But so he doesn't say, people, right? if, if I so say if I anyone, I do whipping for him, but I never whip anyone. That would be stupid, isn't it? Well, and when Muhammad no, no, says, I am only a human being, what does that mean? He 
he's a human being. Mm. What does that mean? What do you mean? What does that mean? Which means he's making errors, he's making mistakes, he's doing bad things, correct? No, he didn't say that. I didn't say that. Well, he's saying I'm not perfect. This is what he says. And uh, oh, Allah, I am only a human being. So any one of you, I do curse him or he hurt him or say bad word to him or even whip him. Allah make it source of purity and mercy for them. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So Allah, but it, prophet. But you said that he whipped. That's what I'm saying. It I'm says, no, it says that. It says, here we go. Let me show you different uh, different hadith. You see, the Muslim, they think they, by playing like the bird who put his head in the in the, in the dust, we don't see it. It's in the front of you. Here we go. Here we go. Read this one. Read it, read it loud. Be proud. Yeah, uh, I can't see it. One minute. Hmm. I heard Abu Huraira saying that he heard Allah's Messenger وسلم, saying, Oh Allah, moment is a human being. I lose my temper. Um, I lose my temper just as human beings lose temper. And I've held a covenant with you, which you will not break. For a believer with whom I give any trouble. Hmm. What so is that? Does it say anyone I curse or I beat? Do you see that? And he is losing temper, which means he is not doing justly. This is losing temper. Yes or no? No. What do you mean no? It says I lose my temper. What does that mean? It doesn't say I lose my temper for no reason. It, say, it, it doesn't matter what reason is. You lose your temper, that's mean you are doing a mistake. This is what it means. Lose my temper. So he is not being wise. He is losing his temper. And because of that, he is doing wrong. This is why he's saying this will be a mercy for you. No, losing temper is uh, justified. Losing temper is justified. So if I whip you now by losing my temper, no, it's, it's not okay? the best way. It's not the best. No, you see, you see, uh, it's not the high level of uh, uh, character, but it's still. Uh, what like high level? He is beating them. He is whipping them. He is whipping, it them. whipping them. It says but that or beat or beat. Actually, in Arabic, it doesn't say beat. This is a lie. It says, Jalatuhu. I whipped. So it says, if I, it doesn't say like, literally, I'm gonna, I, I've already beat him. No, him now, saying, uh, anyone, like, anyone, I did that to him. Whom, or oh, for a believer, I gave any trouble or invoke, curse or whip. Make that an expectation for his sin. So Muhammad, he claimed, if he beat you, Allah forgive you your sin. Yeah, that's so. With the you see, with the prophet of God, when the prophet of God gets angry, mm. then uh, you should. What happens is that mm -hmm. the people would. Um, what happens is Allah would get angry because you're making the prophet angry. So, in, in return, um, if, if, what, if, what if, is, Muhammad and so, Allah is one. If you make the prophet angry, Allah is angry. Mm -hmm. So Allah will lose he his does. temper too. Allah will lose his temper. So if whoever makes the, the messenger angry, it then says, it, it, I lose yeah. my temper. That's mean he don't have any justification to do it. This is what I mean. I lose my temper. That's mean he is he is saying I am I'm wrong. He doesn't say that. Well, it says that he says I'm just a human being. That's mean I do wrong. And what is what is the wrong I did? I lose my temper. He is giving himself an excuse. Correct? No, you say, you're deceiving again. When I say I lost my temper, does that mean yeah. I'm saying that I am? Doing wrong, I lost my temper. Sorry. No, you're saying, um, uh, <laughs> for example, in, in, for example, if you're in a situation and you lost your temper, you, you probably say, okay, I should have never lost it. Maybe uh, you know I shouldn't have done it. But okay. that doesn't mean that you here can, you wrong. see the it hypocrisy. So if you a woman, so if a woman, look, let's, go back, let's go back. So if a woman she lose her temper and she curse her husband, she go to hell. But if you're a prophet, lose his temper. And he curse you and he whip you not only he curse you he will go to heaven and not only that he will make the source of whipping you and beating you and cursing you is a way to go to heaven no with, with the women with the women if they repent uh, and if they uh, change their ways and then it's fine they, they'll get they get paradise well, hold, so on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on guys hold on hold on hold on first of all of first of all first of all you're a prophet never in the hadith says if you repent he asked them for money he says so if you give me that's money that's hold that's on that's if you give me money, if you give me money, your sin is forgiven. Yes or no? So money is a way of uh, your sins getting forgiven. Okay, so you are saying that a woman, she can still curse her husband, but if she give money to Muhammad, she will go to heaven. 
money to charity, money in the fees of the law in the public. Did Muhammad collect the money right away in the spot when he said this speech? Yes, yeah, so they do okay. donated the money. So, okay, guys, so the, uh, the women, they start taking off their earring and their gold and give it to Muhammad. Do you agree with that? Yep. Okay, yep, why? Yep. Why that? If they give Muhammad their gold, their sin is forgiven. Because charity is going towards the way of Allah. So okay, but they the are cursing. The but still, they did not correct it. It didn't say you repent. They still are cursing their husband. So he, all what he asked them for, give me money, and your sin is forgiven, right? So, so he gave them a lecture, so they understood, they realized the error they made. So then, no, they, they did they, not. And look what the, he said to them. In the he said, says, you see, in the, you are trying, you, you, are trying you are trying, you are trying, you are trying. Look, 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 look. He says, says here, let us read together so we can love together. He says, because you are cursing so much, meaning you are ungrateful toward your husband. He said, and you are, I, and I have, and he continued, and I have not seen any among those lacking in intellect and religion and who are more difficult upon the people, pos position reason, and inside than you. So this is all the reasoning to go to hell. It is you who is deceiving. Do you see it? No, this see is what your prophet, see. she asked him, okay, she asked him, and why is that messenger of Allah? Do you agree with that? The woman, she said, and why is yeah. that messenger of Allah? Okay, what is the full answer of Muhammad? From here, all the way to here. So he said because of your cursing. So he mentioned that. No, he, may, he did not stop with cursing, and that's it. No, he yeah, said because. Hold on. Interest. No, 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 no. Don't lie. Because you are cursing so much, meaning you are ungrateful toward your husband. And he said, continue. And I have not. This is and continue. I have not seen any among these those lacking exactly. in intellect and religion. Who are more difficult upon people possessing opposition uh, reasoning and inside than you? This is the reasoning. I've already answered that. So no, you did I not. Don't. You did not. You did lie. You said because they are cursing. But Muhammad did not stop with cursing. He continued saying that they are stupid and they have a defect. And then no, when no, women, hold on. No, and when a woman a stupid, and when a woman so she he, inquire, he, hold on. When a woman she inquired about his first answer, why we will go to hell, he said, a, w a woman among them, she said, and what is the deficiency in our intel intellect and religion? He said, the testimony of two women among you is like the testimony of one man, and the deficiency of your religion is ministration. Let me ask you how that can be deficiency. How that can be deficiency of the brain and religion. Go ahead. What the testimony? How that can be deficiency? Deficiency because um, they're a bit more emotional. You see, in in terms of, uh, we know uh, women are more emotional, so that's why uh, they may react. The Quran they does might, not say uh, that you are lying. Again, the Quran does not say that. The Quran says so. If one of them err, the other one correct her. So the Quran assume that m women they have half a brain. Two women they will make one man. No, it doesn't say half of it. See, you're adding a lot. So he first okay, says stupid. Hold on, okay. Which what, stupid. what it's meant? What it's, it's, what it's, it's meant? It's what it's, it's meant? Okay. If the women, the, okay, hold on. Does it say here deficiency or I'm making things up? Yeah, it says deficiency. Okay. So deficiency mean what? You speak English better than me. When I say that somebody have deficiency in the wisdom, what does that mean? They lack uh, some tiny you know maybe a little bit of wisdom or something so thank you very much god he just said that women they have a little bit of wisdom it's so luck, if yeah. i say half a brain i'm not exaggerating actually you just made it worse well, you just like, said yeah, you just said they have little little brain not half a brain you are the one who said that you have you said they have little wisdom what little wisdom mean that's mean they are stupid you are they, saying that women are stupid they, are you are you are you disagreeing that women are not more emotional? Do you disagree with that? I disagree. My mother is a woman. She knew the Bible from from the cover to the cover, and she can debate any bishop in the world, and she will destroy him if he make a mistake. And she is a but woman. I'm saying, and she I'm is a woman. If, she knew my books. Saying, I was studying law. Shut up. I was studying law. She knew all my <laughs> books by heart, and which I don't even know. She asked me a question. I never even go through. So this is a woman. So it's a stupid to say, don't you agree? You just agree, yes. according to you, that your woman is a stupid woman. We respect to her. How do you do that? 
I asked, I asked you a question. I asked you, is, is a woman more emotional than a man? Yes or this no? This is not about emotion. We are talking about deficiency in the wisdom. You. Stop, stop being a liar. Not? Stop being a liar. This is not about emotion. This is about deficiency. This is about emotion. In, this in this her is about intellect. Do you, see, do you see what your prophet said? Deficiency in her intellect, not emotion. Did you use the word emotion? Here is not mentioned emotion. But it just it said uh, it says the intellect. What the word intellect mean? What the word intellect mean? Uh, in decision making, sometimes they might. Uh, what intellect uh, mean? No, intellect does not mean decision making. You speak English better than me. So how come now you don't know what intellect mean? We can go to Google right now and see what Prophet Google say. The understanding, basically, mm -hmm. you know, in certain matters. Okay. So they are not wise, as you say, because they're, they're, because they're more emotional. That's why. Uh, that's the reason. So they have I'm a lack of reasoning and understanding. That's mean they are not. They have intelligence problem. That's that's what I said. Sometimes okay. emotion. So uh, you're a prophet oh, saying. Oh, so you're a prophet saying that women. The, the reason they will go to hell, according to you. They curse a lot and they have deficiency in their intellect and they have mm -hmm. frustration. That's uh, why they will go to hell. No. It's what it says so, in front of us. It says they ask him because the answer what? The answer is he said, and okay, well, most of you will go to hell. A woman, she said, and why is that Allah Messenger? Look what he said. Because you are cursing so much, meaning. You are ungrateful toward your husband and he continues saying and I have not seen any among you lacking in intellect and religion So why we will go to hell prophet? because of the following you curse a lot and you are Having and suffering from lack of intellect and wisdom and religion deficiency in religion and she asked him to, to, to explain more Okay, what is the what is the what is the problem with our deficiency? What deficiency are you talking about? He says, and what is deficiencies in her intellect and religion? This is a woman she is asking. Asking what? About asking about your prophet answer about the first question, why we will go to hell, prophet of Allah. So he mentioned their deficiency as a reasoning to go to hell. And now you tell me, please, how women have menstruation that is deficiency in religion? In religion because they don't be praying so um they lack the lack sometimes they they may lack in spirituality in uh, um and whatnot so so that's why they're a bit more receptive to okay, who is the uh, one who forbid them okay. who is the one who forbid them from praying when they have menstruation so allah made this as a means of mercy for them okay so how a mercy became a curse on them to go to hell it's not a curse that's what i said to you it's not okay okay a bit more receptive did, 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 did you guys did you hear this joke he just said he just a said big position. that allah he so, made he made the women not to pray as a mercy on them muhammad yeah. claiming that women they will go to hell for the following reasoning they curse a lot. hold on they curse a lot and they have deficiency in their wisdom and their religion and what is deficiency in their religion it is their menstruation so women she will go to hell because she have menstruation because all what the woman deceiving she's asking, again. Deceiving. listen, I'm not deceiving. It is your prophet who answers. She asked him why we will go to hell. Who is the one who continues saying the reason is the following? Because you, if you curse yeah. so much, meaning you are ungrateful to your, your husband. He said, Muhammad, continue. And I have not seen. And I have not seen. He continue. He's explaining. I have not seen among the those lacking in intellect and religion. So. The intellect of religion is a reason to go to hell, but who is the one who made women according to you stupid? Isn't it Allah? No, it's not stupid. So you, you, you. So let me explain this. So first, the prophet gave two reasons. So he gave two reasons, and then he says, "I have not." So the, now he went to a secondary point, and he mentioned, "I have not seen." Like he's talking about all women now. He's talking about even good women. All women, women, all the women. They are they asking yes about all women. The women, all the women, majority of them, they will go to hell. All women. Thank you very much. And this is proof no, again no, that no. your prophet is a false prophet. No, because we, we, the reason we also he, have a, no, no, listen, listen, listen. We also have a hadith which says okay, that there'll be more but women in Jannah. So, hold on, so, so, hold on. so, so what is the so reason? You, what you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Women the women she asked, like, hold on. I will uh, go with you. I will go with you. The the women she asked why we will go to hell, why your prophet is quoting that they have a lack of intellect and they have deficiency in their brain 
and their religion. What is the purpose of that? If this is not the question, are you saying to me that your prophet was a stupid person? He talked about something she did not ask him about? Uh, you're stupid, more like. Well, here we go. You are, the, you are saying to me, this is not the reasoning, but Muhammad, she asked him okay, what yeah. is. No she, said to him, she said to so him, and why is that Allah messenger? Why is that what? Why they will go to hell, correct? So I'll why Muhammad is talking all. about why Muhammad talking about their deficiency in their brain and in their religion if this is not have nothing to do with the topic? Okay, I'm gonna explain it one more time. So mm. he mentioned he mentioned basically the ungrateful towards the husband and the curse and whatnot. So then he then he said that I am not seen. So this is a secondary point. So he said he's saying this because did you say he's, this he's saying that they're more likely to be more say, likely. Did you just to, say? Did you just say this is the second point? Sec what well, secondary point? I said. S uh, thank you, guys. Did he say this is a secondary point? Secondary point of what? To go to hell, right? I'm telling you, yeah. No, 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 not go what to hell. But so why he's, he's talking about it? If this is a secondary let, point, let, you said you are the one who so, said, not me. This is secondary post. So there, there's a point number one, and there's point number two. Okay, point number one and point number two. Why we call it number one and number two if they are not connected? So he, that's the main reason he already gave. Then the second thing he's saying, he's saying that they're more receptive to do these things. So he, they're more like uh, inclined to do it when they're not praying, when they uh, when they're in this condition. So, okay. he's so you are saying to me now, look how stupid what you, you just said. To, uh, look, let me show you. Know, let me show you what how stupid what you just said. You are saying that women they curse their husband because they have a lack of intellect. Is that correct? No, I said the yeah. So we, you can say the yeah, lack, no, no, the lack, give me an answer. Yes yeah. or no? Yeah, the lack in intellect. Okay, so yes. more listen to this. 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 They make curse. people. People listen to this. This madness. He just said that women they curse their husband because they have a lack of intellect. That's mean Allah is the stupid because He is the one who made them. He created them this way according to you, and yet Allah. Will punish them for have lack of intellect. Who is the one who no, makes women no, have no, lack no, of intellect? Have, yeah, no, they have free will to to do what, what they the want. Will? So free, free, like, what free inte will? Inte inte intellect has nothing to do to... with the free will. That's a lie. Intellect is something I, you are born with. This is this is your brain. You don't you don't you cannot fix your brain. You cannot make it better. You cannot make it worse. You cannot do anything. So if Allah is so the one who talking. who is the one who gave you intellect, Allah or you? So, so Allah gave the intellect. What I'm saying the emotion kind of overpower this. Them is not, don't, so don't, don't, also, don't be stupid now. Don't be stupid. Okay, who is the them. one who made them emotional? Allah made it for a reason for okay. to look after so the Allah, kids. So Allah, He made them emotional according to you, and He gave them a lack of intellect, and Allah will send them to hell because of what He made them. How stupid that is! No, he will not do that. He's he, he, this hadith is there to even remind them to not do Guys, this. Guys, look at this. This guy he called yeah. me to say I am deceiving, and then at the end he agree on the following: that women they curse their husband because they have a lack of intellect. Did you say that? Yes. You said to me I was deceiving by saying that women they will go to hell because they have a lack of intellect and they have menstruation. And you are the one who just agreed that women well, are doing that. that. Hold on, everybody that. heard you. You are the one who agreed saying that women, yes, they curse their husband because they have a lack of intellect and they are suffering from those things, which mean the men says too. So women, they curse a lot, guys, because they have a lack of intellect and they have a menstruation. And this is why they will go to hell. Okay, did you want to answer my question? I've got to answer. I've got a question about the Bible. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it might have to, uh, so, might so have you agreed. You agreed that I am not deceiving. It is you who was deceiving, and you got busted. No, I would have answered. Let's, let's you, go to the you, Bible you now. Do you, you agree? You, everybody you, heard you. Everybody heard you. Saying <laughs> women, women, they curse a lot because of those reasoning. Because they have a lack of intellect and they have deficiency in the religion. Did you say that? Or are you advocating? Listen, listen, are you able to uh, uh, take criticism of the Bible? I never ever heard friend, you. You are, speak you are just that trying to change the topic. That's all. They are trying. You are. You, you, you are speaking about the prophet got also. busted with his intellect because this is a proof that Muhammad is suffering from stupidity. How he say sure. that women yeah, they will show go you. to hell? How come you you? how how a prophet of God claiming that whatever he say is coming from God and he claimed. That women they have a lack of intellect, and the proof of that, the testimony of a man is equal of two. How that can be, unless he's stupid? Because who is the one who put this rule? 
I'm not sure you're a hypocrite. In the Bible, you have similar things. You, you are trying to change topics. You are humiliated you dare, with you dare your cult. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you speak about the Bible? Let yeah, me read the Bible so we can laugh at you. Go ahead. Okay. It says, it's a shame for a woman to speak in the church in the first Corinthians. Hmm. It says to chop off, her, uh, chop off her hands for saving her husband's life. So you chop her hand off. It says, are you going to call uh, the whole Bible? Of her, the head of the woman hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, you, 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 are a hip, you are a hypocrite person. When you, copy, when you are trying to read, you are reading from left to right to the end to the beginning, from Old Testament to the New Testament. Give me a verse so we can laugh at you. It, Just one. Who's, the, who's the author? Who's one, the author of the Old one Testament? At the time. Jesus? Give me a verse one at a time and people will laugh at you. Okay, one at a time, no problem. Mm. It says, for, for it's a shame for a woman to speak in the church. Why is it a shame for a woman to, to speak about in, in things? First Corinthians? No. Women, in the same first chapter you will see, in the same chapter it says that women, they can prophesy about God, which means women, they are prophet of God. When they are forbidden to so be a prophet in Islam. Shut up, hold on. So, so, so he is saying that women who speak about things have nothing to do with being in a church. There are some people, they go to the church and they start talking about cooking. So, it's a shame for women to do that because the topic here, it was about a woman speaking out of the topic. So the topic mentioned an answer for that and you are a hypocrite. Otherwise, do we have, do we have, do we have, let me ask you, do we have in the Bible prophets who are women and judges? Um, yeah, but they, they okay. are no. So uh, how, how they will prophesy about God and yet they cannot talk in the church? That is your false interpretation, and it's what the Muslims do. When we show you something, we show you interpretation by by uh, 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 Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari. You will not find any Christian saying what you are saying. You are a hypocrite. Now we go back. Let me ask you: Can a Muslim woman speak in the mosque? Of course, you can. Can you give me an example? Uh, like she can speak. I thought the women she cannot go to the mosque with the men. She can. The prophet, uh, the prophet also said that do not forbid your wives from going to the mosque. Yeah, but um, with the men, right? He said this. Are, 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 they, are, they, no. are, are, they, are they going to go with the men? No, they can go on their own. There's a woman that used to go at night okay. time on her own to the mosque. Okay. Um, okay. Let me ask you: If a man he is a praying, and a woman she is laying down in front of him in the mosque. Or in his house, is that okay? In front of why would she be in front of a, a non uh, relative man? Related I'm asking, man, I'm asking you if a man he is a praying, yeah, and his wife is in the front of him, laying down, is yeah, that okay. So, are you talking about husband and wife? Yeah, a woman and her, you know, her husband. Yeah, she can lie because we see in the during the in with the prophet, uh, Aisha she was uh, there was it was a small room, so she used to lie in front and then um, and so then the prophet used to pray in front of her. So guys, n notice here, Aisha she is laying down in front of the prophet. So while you're a prophet, he said that the three things will interrupt the Muslim prayer: a dog and a donkey and the women. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's because if it crosses, so if the woman or, or dog goes cross a uh, past, so what happens is uh, the prey will, um, it, I think, it interrupts or breaks, maybe. Okay, so but if it, a woman, it, if yes, a woman, so she lay down past. in the front of you in the street, and you are praying, is that prayer yeah. is accepted or is rejected? It's accepted. Read what your prophet saying. There's a difference between going past and there's a difference between uh, lying in front. And plus this, um, this uh, the example I said, it's only between a husband and wife. So if it's a non-mahrum woman mm. who's uh, not relative, mm. then it's um, then you shouldn't be even praying. Why? Okay, even why? So in how, you Muslims, how you Muslims being hypocrite, you pray in the park. People, they walk in the front of you. Women, men. Why you are praying in the park? We have sutra. We have sutra. So when we yeah, have sutra, have sutra then I can show you the Muslim praying in the street and people crossing the street in the front of them. What should try? Women and men and kids and they, they have even their dogs with them. So Muslims are here. Yeah, they in the yeah that'd be that'd be wrong. They should they should have a sort okay. from now them. Let me have ask you, that, how but... how a dog and a woman and a donkey will disturb 
your prayer will not make your prayer accepted by Allah. How that? It's even with a man. So even if a man, is, it comes in a hadith where uh, it would be better for a person to wait 40 uh, except of walking past him. So it doesn't apply don't you just for women. Why a dog and a donkey and the women, they will make your prayer invalid? So it's a distraction and they shouldn't go past. How so distraction will happen? Simple. You are praying to Allah. Of course. Who is but distracted? Your eyes can Who is distracted? Allah or you? You are, of okay. course. Look, your prophet, he said that a black dog, not any dog. And he claimed that the black dog is the devil. Why only black dog can destruct you, but a normal dog, he cannot. A white dog or a blonde dog, he cannot destruct your prayer. So in, in other narration, it doesn't say black dog, it says dog only. No, it says in other narrations. No, it says and doesn't matter. It's a hadith anyway. Who care? Is that because sure. your prophet he have a lack of intellect and deficiency in his brain? No. Superstition, isn't it? This is superstition that the black dog, black color will make you evil. No, what happened was um, a lot of scholars they mentioned this. They said that the reason, obviously, there was a command also given to kill uh, black dogs. Mm. The reason was they right. said because the wild there was in that city there was a really wild uh, dog. So this one explanation that they could have been really wild and okay, that's but why he, the he ordered was to kill black later, dogs. Why the black dogs? He did not say the sick dogs. He said any black dog. He said the black dog walking by, not biting you. He's not biting you. He's just a dog walking by. If you do that, yeah, most, most, most look, black dogs look, are vicious. Okay, read, read, read. read. Don't, 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 don't be in fabricate things. And oh, I, oh, I said, oh, Abu Dhar, what feature is there in the black dog which distinguishes it from the red dog and yellow dog? So what distinguishes is the color only. He said, oh, my son, oh, son of my brother, I ask Allah Messenger, as you ask me, which mean, what distinguish the black dog from the yellow dog or white dog? He said the black dog is the devil. Yeah, like I said, the, the, the black dogs are more vicious, so they definitely they, they ah, act in the devil. the black dog, but he did not say they are more vicious, he said they are the devil. Yeah, so devil refers to something evil, so they vicious so, and so evil. Are, are you similar. are you agreeing with your prophet that any black dog is the devil? It doesn't say any, so it, it just says, says black no, dog. it says it says it says a black dog will disturb any black dog. Black dog will disturb, and we ask. What the difference between a black dog and red dog and yellow dog? So all of them are unknown to us except the color. So it's any dog. He said the black dog is the devil. Do you agree with that? No, like I said to you, during that time, what happened was there was vicious dogs. So when I read, stop read lying, the this, stop lying, stop, me, li answer, stop answer, lying, answer. stop lying. It she, says, she, then it says, says the black, black dog. dog okay, answer. hold on. Does it say a specific dog or only the specific about it is the color? Read with me. He mentions the color. Okay. So the only thing he mentioned is the black dog, not a specific dog. Any black dog is the devil, yes or no? It must have been in that city only black dog was causing My friend, the problem. What city? What city? Who cares? The black dog is the devil. Either. Is that a fact or it's a lie? Yeah, generally they, they act more vicious and they oh, generally, they guys, hey, this is science. According to this guy, generally black dogs are more vicious. Okay, let us say for the sake of argument, they are more vicious. Why he said they are the devil? It's, it's part of the language where they refer to something evil or something bad. So, yeah, it's so the, the yellow it's dog is not the devil. The Just red, like the red English, dog, the red use, dog, uh, the red so dog. Don't tell me metaphor. You are a liar. Don't tell me it's a metaphor. It is, you are a liar. Black color in Islam is always for the devil. Yes or no? Of course not. Bilal with you on who he was. Black. Okay, okay. Hold on. Who is the most person Allah he is? He's, he's it, in paradise. Okay, Bilal in paradise right now. Did your prophet, prophet made? Said did your prophet the made prophet fun of his head? Footsteps. Did your prophet he made fun of his head? How he look like? In that in that hadith, you're talking about a hadith which I've read also. Uh -huh. It doesn't say about Bilal Number one, number two. No, it was about talking about. Bilal. Uh, it was about, about Bilal. Bilal. Why you are lying? It was specifically about Bilal. Sure, sure. It was yes, let's about Bilal. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Here we Do you have it? Read it. 
who is the Ethiopian who Muhammad he made him a leader of fighters to attack it was an Ethiopian man who is that it was Bilal <laughs> what <laughs> show me <laughs> so says, of you. the prophet the, the said listen and obey your chief even if he is an Ethiopian who is see, I, is I, like I, a raisin I where hadith. made your chief? Did you read it? This is, I already know this hadith, yeah. So this hadith doesn't say, I said to you Pacific hadith about Bilal and you just you said yes, there okay. is a Pacific okay, hold on. and then you show so me if I show you <laughs> so if I show you if I prove to you that this is about Bilal, yeah. what you will do? I'll I'll be I'll be you know shocked about it. it'll be it'll be something to research more. Okay. But here it says you will be shocked. Minute, what does that mean? What what does that mean? What does it'll, that mean? It'll be a point of, no, be a point of uh, research. It'll be a point of research for what me. What does that mean? You said you will be shocked. No, I want you to tell me what what does that mean? You will be shocked. Are you going to leave Islam? No. So why you are saying you will be shocked? It's, it's stupid to ask someone, are you going to leave Islam? Why would no, you leave I'm Islam? You, you said you will be shocked. Oh, you said you will be shocked. Researching. What is shocking I mean, for you no, about no, it? My no, friend, no, 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 everybody, Islam, everybody, everybody well, heard you. Everybody heard you saying you will be shocked. What is going to be shocking about it? It'd it be shocking because uh, it, 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 the hadith that you showed, it was actually talking about generally. If it, any, even if a person looks bad, if, if you've got a reason, I'm then asking you, you if this is about Bilal, so, if this is about Bilal, what you said you will be shocked. What is shocking for you? Hold on, what is going to be shocking for you if this is about Bilal? Um, I guess I guess it's shocking. Um, if it's specifically about someone, then uh, it's not the best of description. So if someone like if the prophet said your head is like a raisin and that's it, full okay. stop. Let us say. Uh, let us say. Okay. Say. Let us say for the sake of argument, this is not about Bilal. Why Muhammad is making fun of the black people? Look. She's not. How is he? How, <laughs> come on, you, you have to be foolish to think that. Look, it's the hadith okay. says. Here we go. That if, Here we go. What what raising head mean? What raising head mean? Is that a fun? I'm, I'm explaining. You know, let me explain. So hmm. you know, let me explain. What raising head mean? So. So the hadith says that even if that person was a black, meaning in that culture, black people were uh, treated in a low way. So the prophet saying mm -hmm. he's pointing all the uh, bad qualities, like p generally what people see as bad qualities, uh, and uh, in that time in that society, he put black, and then he said raisin head. So he said that because meaning that in that if it's bad description, if even if that person looks odd, looks uh, differently, then you still take him so as your leader. You, he's telling him to take him as you, leader. According to you, he's according him to you, you Muslims, accept him as a leader. According to you. That's according, okay, according to you, Muslims, black people look odd. Yeah. Can no, hear no, it? I'm saying that. No, no. Did you I hear said it? In that you just saying no, that. Said Everybody that. heard you. He's saying if I a person looks odd, he used to be. He used listen, to be listen, something. You are the one. Treated. Everybody heard you. You gave me the reason. Yeah, the reason is, heard me. if, a, it, if it, a person it he look odd, how the black person look odd for you? Explain to us, please. We don't want to misunderstood you. Okay, I'll explain. I said in that culture, in that society, they, they used to be treated as uh, really low, lowly kind of people. So the prophet saying, even if they become your leader, you obey them. Okay. So even if these people who you regard as no one, mm -hmm. if they become your leaders, or even if they have a physical appearance, which is like a reason, you still ob obey them. And what, is the so physical reason? what is the physical appearance? Will make Muhammad say, he is the one who said, who is his head like a raisin. He is the one who said, that's not them. It's your prophet. Yeah. It's your prophet who is using a very racist statement. It's not them. That's not the, racist. The, That's not racist. Well, so what reason mean? What reason mean? He's saying it's a hypothetical. He's saying if I what if hypothetically? If it's not. He's it's saying no. If an who is read 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 read, 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 read. It says an Ethiopian who is head is like a raisin. What reason mean? Yeah. If if. If you find someone like that with a raisin head, uh, I don't know his small head. I don't know how he looks like. Whoever it is, hmm. if he has the bad defect, you still obey him, even if you don't like him. So you, don't, you are saying that is, Ethiopian okay. people they have a defect in their look. Okay, okay. Don't, don't you think it's amazing that he said to him to uh, listen or obey to someone like this? Okay, let me that's ask you. Amazing. How you said hold on, hold on. You, you, you said, said okay. You said you make it. Okay, hold on. You hold, on. Hold, hold on. You said that the black color, black dogs are vicious. Is black people vicious for you? 
No. Okay. Did Allah say that the most people he hate or the man he hate is a black person? What? Did Allah say that the most person ever he hate he is a black man? The most uh, person he ever hate was a black man? Yes. It might be a Pacific black man, but it's not going to be generally why every he single is, Why he is a specific black man? What about the white people? Why the most person Allah he hate is a black man? Like I said to you, he might be a Pacific. Okay, Pacific why? Person. Why the most? Because he, because this black man he did beat everybody. What he is exactly? You're all what your God said that he is a black man, correct? See, you're deceiving. You're you're, you're a very good deceiver. I can tell uh, you. Oh, that. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm just reading what is in front of me. It says that he is a black man. So why? What is making him unique that this person is a black man? Why is a black man? Let's look at um, let's look at this. Hmm. The uh, most hateful among the creation of Allah is one black man. Uh, the most safe among the creation of Allah is, Allah is one black man among them. Among them, Khawarij, among them. Hmm. So he's talking about a specific person, one by of the his way, handy, like the no, by the way, it doesn't say Khawarij there. This is the fabrication and translation. This is why it's of course, he's talking about context. It? It's no. going to be contextual, sexualizing it. So it doesn't matter. Reason one, hadith, one. there's no khawarish. No problem. So he says the most evil among the creation of Allah is one black man among them. Okay. Why? Among why? Them. Why the most among Allah, the, the most person Allah he hate is a black man. Why? It's, it's just a description. Like the reasons. You um, hmm. must mention the reason afterwards, doesn't okay. it? Have you ever heard of somebody? I've read this, okay. I've read this narration. Okay. According to your God. According to your prophet, the unique about this man is his color, correct? Mm? The unique about him will make him the most. How we recognize him by the black color, correct? So now you must be uh, looking for a man, he's a black. And that black man, he will be the most hateful person hated by Allah. Is that correct? We're not looking for him, we just know his description. Yeah, but now you are expect. This is a prophecy, correct? This is a prophecy or not? Uh, I haven't read this narration. Was it about uh, what's the what's the whole situation about? Hmm. Is it about the, the one that's going to destroy the Kaaba? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter about who. What is it? Muhammad? He saw a dream. Now he's the one. Okay, you just mentioned this. Why the one who will try to destroy the Kaaba is a black one too? That's who is going to be in it. It's a prophecy. Why is a black that. man? Why always is the black man? Why the enemy, the black dog, the black man, the black person is the one will destroy the Kaaba? Why? If that's what who is going to be, is that's who is going to be? What do you mean? Why? It's so the why, same question why only the black people are the one who they are doing bad things in Islam? Where is the white people, people there? The white, white, the people white people, people do the white so, people, they will not try to destroy the Kaaba. Only white people. It, was Al Qurmati a black person or white person? He was a white person. So how come your prophet did not prophesy about him? He prophesied why he, whatever he wants to prophesy. He doesn't need yeah, to prophesy. He, but about okay, him. okay, he, he prophesied. Thank you. He prophesied about whatever he liked to prophesy. So he's a prophet. Right. How come What's he could him? not he could not figure out that the one who will destroy the Kaaba for real, all of them, because the Kaaba destroyed by many, many times, by Al Hajjaj, by Al Qurmati, by many people. Why he did not yeah. prophesy that the one who will destroy the Kaaba is a white man and he is an Arab? Instead, he is claiming that the one who will destroy the Kaaba is an Ethiopian. Uh, well, I don't know why. He, how can you get what, what into? Do you, you do not know. What do you mean you do not know? You are the Muslim, I mean, not me. Why you do not know, my yes. friend? Why you, do, wrong why you do not know? Wrong. Why you do not well, know? I'm okay. Wrong so, with this. no, wrong with okay. Him isn't, him it of, isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? Okay. This black man, he would destroy the Kaaba or not? He will. Yeah, he he will uh, break the Kaaba. Okay. So where is the where is Allah, the one who protect the Kaaba? What happened? So Allah will allow it to get broken. Why Allah allow him? him? Why Allah allow him? Why, yeah, why, Allah, why Allah allow him? Allah send him to destroy the Kaaba? No, Allah allows him, meaning that he doesn't intervene. With the Surah Quraysh, for example, Allah mm -hmm. intervened. He sent the stones from the sky. Okay. But as in this so case, how, because how come, yeah, how come Allah, 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 how come Allah he's, he have a chapter, it's called the chapter of the elephant to protect the Kaaba. And at that time, the Kaaba have more than 360 
idol around it and Allah yeah. sent bird to protect it but this is at that time it was a pagan religion there hundreds of pagan religion there why Allah protect the Kaaba when at that time it was Najis and Allah will not protect Allah the Kaaba does, hmm? Allah does whatever he wants to do uh, Allah he does so, whatever he, so, well, Allah, okay, so yeah, when, when Allah when Allah when, when the when this black man he will destroy the Kaaba is he sent by Allah He's not sent by Allah. Okay. Uh, what does it say? He's being sent. Don't say that. Isn't it Allah who says that all bad things happen is by Him? Uh, let's have a look. Hmm? So you're oh. switching number. You're switching topics. No, from we topics. are not. We are talking about this. We are trying to see who is the one who sent that. <laughs> who is a black man? A black who man is, is the one? Who is? Who <laughs> is? <laughs> Who is, the one, who is the one who allowed the Kaaba to be destroyed Allah so who is the one who made this man destroy the Kaaba isn't it this is all decision by Allah read carefully this is Quran I'm chapter gonna, I'm gonna leave, this is Quran, I'm gonna leave in 10 minutes. this is Quran, in 10 chapter 64 verse number 11 I'm gonna leave in 10 minutes okay so no, I'll uh, ask you more 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 important question about this uh, uh, you know there is a, there is a, there is a hadith where it says that if a person he stole an egg, we cut his hand. Yeah, I've, uh, I've read the hadith. Um, okay. Why you cut uh, his hand? I haven't too much research on why, it. Yeah, why, you cut, why you cut his hand? This person is obviously hangry. He want to eat. A person who steal an yeah. egg, he is obviously a very poor person. It's a, yeah, it's a good question. I need to do more research okay. on it. I haven't what if somebody, it, uh, what if somebody, yeah. what if somebody doing a robbery? Do you cut his hand? If somebody rob people, somebody yeah, yeah. a bank and he yeah, yeah, seen, I seen, yeah, I seen you showed the hadith. Okay. So, the hadith says uh, don't quote, quote his right, robber. So, it's, a, it's a point of research for me. I, I, I don't know the answer. Oh, so you it. have no answer. So look at this mad Muhammad who have a deficiency in his brain. If you steal an egg, <laughs> if you steal an egg, he will cut his hand. That's why you are trying to run away because you. I don't have. I have to study. What study? I mean, it's it's obvious. Either you say Muhammad is making the this right is, decision. Hold on, you see how somebody, how somebody, he do a robbery, hold on, how somebody do a robbery, you don't cut his hand, but if somebody, he cut, he, he took an egg, you cut his hand. You see, you see, what you're doing, you're, you're isolating narration, so you want I'm me not to isolating, be I am not, I, I'm showing you the reference, and all of it is sahih, so you give me, what is, what you kind know, of a you know what means. if somebody you know is stealing an egg, we cut his hand. If somebody you betray, know? if somebody betray, which means you put him in the cashier machine, he take all the money in the cashier machine. He is not a thief in Islam. He is just a person betray the trust. If somebody go inside the store, he put a gun in the head of the guy who worked there, and he take all the money. He is a good guy. We don't cut his hand. But if somebody stole an egg, we cut his I hand. What is what is wisdom in Islam? Do you agree I that your prophet you, have an I intellect problem? I can't, I can't make a judgment on so isolated. Why you cannot make a judgment? Is that because your prophet obviously I'm, is a crazy man? Is that because no, your prophet is a crazy listen. man? No, no, because you're a deceiver. Then what what happens me, is. Then give me, then give me the reason. You do not, need, no, you do not need to study about it. It says if you do no, a let, robbery, we don't cut your hand. If you do steal an egg, we cut your hand. Very simple. What study about it? I mean, what is study? This, Listen, you, you deceive people. What you do is you only isolate narrations. You pull. Okay, you, tell me how I am deceiving my friend. This is the hadith. There's no you, beginning. There's no end. This is the hadith. This is the hadith in full, in front of you. What isolating? What isolating? You're a prophet. Say, this is an order. This is an order. This is an order. If somebody he stole an egg, we cut his hand. If somebody steal an egg. And up and more, we cut his hand. But if somebody do a robbery, we don't. How that can be a teaching of a prophet of God? And this is a Sahih Hadith. Uh, like I said, it's a point of study, so I need to go study this. It's, it's not point of study. It's, it's point of, it's of it's if it's point of being coward, then you are ashamed. You, you are ashamed no, of the stupidity no. and the intellect of your prophet. He have no intellect because it's logical. If somebody store an egg. We cut his hand. Then, if somebody stole something more, we should cut his hand. No, if it's a robbery, 
It's, it's, you want to speak about the Bible again? Here we go. Here we go. You see? Here, here. I give you a chance. <laughs> I give you a chance and I got you busted. You want to speak about the Bible? Let me, let me ask I'll, you. I'll you on the Bible. I, I thought you have 10 minutes and you want to leave. I've got five minutes left. Okay, my friend. I will give you, you a chance to talk Bible? about the Bible if you stay with me one hour more. What do you think? Uh, we could do that some other time, actually. Why not? Why not now? I want you to get me busted in the Bible. No, I have to do some of the time. No, sure. no, brother. Yeah. Why you don't get me busted, brother? I am desperate. I already kind of busted your show. You see, you are so. a coward. You are running. You cannot I'm talk stupid. about the Bible. You cannot talk about the Quran. You know nothing about your religion. And you, yet, you you are, and yet, with no shame, you claim that your mother, with my respect to her, I respect your mother more than you, you said that your mother, she have a defect in her brain and she have emotional problem. The fact you're a prophet is the one who beat people and who loses his temper. And I showed you the hadith. So you're a prophet. Yeah, you're the emotional. Yeah. You're a prophet. He have an anger, anger management problem based in his words. He curse. He he he, he say bad words and he beat people unjustly. What kind of a prophet he is? You are continuing deceiving. You can deceive all your life. I showed you the hadith. Did I show you? Did I show you? Did I show you? Did I show? You Abdul, and then you can be did, I show, did I show the hadith or not? Did I'm I, saying, did, yeah, did, did, yeah. did I show the hadith that you're a prophet? He beat people unjustly and he said, I lose temper. No, did I show, no, you didn't. I no. did not, guys. Okay, you see the coward, you see the liar, you see the liar. You didn't show, I did not. No, you didn't show that he beat, I, you didn't show he beat, he made a prayer. No, 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 I, I showed you he beat people. Let me do it again. Everybody will laugh at you. Guys, he just said, I don't beat people. Here we go. Read the hate again. Deceiving. Read You're it. adding yourself into read it. Read it. Read it. It's in front of you. Everybody will laugh at you. You are a liar again. I mean, we showed you already and you did read it already. And you are saying to me, he don't beat people. Cur curse or beat. And actually, it does not even say beat. It says, I whip them. Which more a lot more harmful. He will leave mark in their skin for the year to come. So why you are saying he did not beat them? Apologize for lying. Uh, let me read the one. So he says, he says that uh, for the believer whom I give any trouble or invoke curse or beat, but it doesn't say that he actually did it. He's saying that doesn't if, say if I do or do it, I beat. He doesn't say do or it, I beat. That's, that's, shut up, shut up. Just go. You are just a kid. Just go. Do you see how they play games? But it doesn't work with us. It doesn't work. The women, they have a bad temper. They will go to hell, Muhammad, the claim, according to this guy. They have emotional problem. We have a prophet. He's saying it clearly, I beat people unjustly. I whip them. I curse them. I'm just a human. I'm just a human. But if you as a human do that, the gate of hell will open on you. And not only that, he claimed that he made a condition with Allah. Condition. He made a condition with his God. Have you ever heard of a madness more than this? That anyone I beat him, Allah, you take him to heaven. So look at how hypocrite he is trying to cool down those who was he unjust to them. Saying to them, okay, I did beat you. Uh, I'm just a human, but I have a good news for you. Anyone I beat or I curse or I humiliate unjustly, that will make your way to heaven. So now all the Muslims, they will wish to go to Muhammad and get beaten by him. Because it is the way to go to heaven. Have you ever heard of stupid religion more than this?
and uh, the smart uh, Abdul he calls saying I want to show that you are deceiving and then foolishly he admitted that women they have saying according to him that the reason for them they curse because they have deficiency in their brain so who is the one who made women if they have deficiency which I, I don't agree with there's a smart woman there is not smart there is a smart man there is not smart this is nothing to do actually the Quran speak about memory the fact memory of women have a lot better or better more than men go with your wife to a dinner with your to your friend your family and come back ask the husband what they ate in the dinner he will not remember he will not remember even what he have in his dish ask the women she will tell you what their earring they were wearing the perfume the dresses one by one the shoes the shoes color the hairstyle so who is the one have deficiency women they can remember what you dressed last year so in order to explain why Islam always disrespect women they are willing to deceive and how if you pay Muhammad money and give Muhammad your earring you will go to heaven there's only one thing all scammers they share they want your money all of them oh this banner was there for uh, long sorry i did not notice it yeah, if I put uh, somebody in the banner for long, guys, just right away, tell me, don't wait. Do you see how we expose this cult? Women is your mother and my mother, your sister and my sister, your daughter. And if, if, if there's no women, we are not there. We men, if there's no women, we are not exist. And if women have menstruation and that is will be make her a defect, that is defect of who? I will tell you this is defect of who? Of the stupid one who believed that this is the deficiency actually women they go to the doctor if they don't have menstruation it is the opposite a woman she have menstruation she is not suffering from deficiency you idiot it's your God who is suffering from deficiency Claiming that women they will go to hell because they have ministration They have defect in religion and you are the one who said to them don't pray when you have ministration and why he said because Allah have mercy on them And then you punish them for having ministration and not praying how stupid that is Islam is a collection of stupid rules made by a mad person even the Muslim they agree and they say he is illiterate the fact he was not illiterate he was a stupid when somebody he says that women are equal two women are equal to one man and that is the proof that women are not wise and you are the one who made the rule I mean look at the proof I am the one who created this rule that women are not allowed to witness one man one woman two women equal to one man and only in the case of money women they cannot witness in the case of capital punishment capital punishment mean anything can cause bloodshed like cutting hands cutting feet cutting necks etc they can only witness in borrowing money two women equal to one man and Muhammad using that as a proof that women have a defect in their intelligence so I want to say thank you for Muhammad Qasim for calling us today because that gives us a great opportunity to expose Islam all what Muhammad want is their money 
and then he start collecting their earring, their bracelet. This is the purpose. Scare them so they will give money. How in the world somebody claim to be a prophet, he say that you have a lack of religion. Why? Because you have ministration. How you say that they have a lack of intelligence by making a rule saying you cannot be an equal witness in the court. How stupid this teaching is, how disgusting. This is not an insult to women, this is an insult to us as men. The one who insults my mother, he's insulting me. My mother, she does not have a deficiency in her intelligence. It's your prophet. Only foolish people, they come with such teaching. Foolish and savage and stupid. It's very obvious that Muhammad himself, he is suffering from deficiency. And when he would say that women, they have emotion and that is defect, that is stupid. Emotion of the women is a gift. It's not a defect. The mother sacrificing her life for her children is not a defect. A woman spending the night over her child where the husband is sleeping and snoring, he don't care. This is not a defect. That is a gift from God. Shame on you. What we see in front of us is very sad religion. Imagine how Muslim women, they suffer. And you see some Muslim women says, I'm proud, I'm proud. Yeah, you're yeah, right. We know how much you're proud. You are proud that there is a, pro a prophet. He call you that you are stupid and you have deficiency in your intelligence. How proud? I'm proud to be a Muslim woman. You see many of them in YouTube. You go like, uh, there's, a, there's a show, it's called TED Show. And they bring a Muslim woman to teach how Islam respect women. Islam respect women? How? Before Islam, Muhammad was working for a business woman. Her name is Khadija. She was the boss. After Islam, women like Khadija, she wear a burqa. She is a subject of sexual entertaining. She is not a human being no more. According to Muhammad, she is a awra, which means she is a private part. My friend, the man who disrespect women he is disrespecting himself. In case you do not know, you are part of a woman. Your mother, she hold you inside her for nine months, and you have her blood, and you have her DNA, and you have her body. You are just insulting yourself. Your dad did not hold you for nine months. This is a cowardly behavior and cowardly teaching to say go and beat your wife and to say women they are deficiency and this is explained why Muhammad saying to the Muslim men beat them beat them why because they have deficiency in their brain how we can fix this deficiency by violence how we can fix it make them obedience
What kind of religion this religion is? This is a cult. This is disgusting. You will not fix the problem with your wife if you beat her. You just made a person who live inside your house hate you. Which is very dangerous. That's mean you are a fool. Very fool. You see, I am not worried about an enemy outside of my house, but I will be so worried about someone I made him an enemy or I made her an enemy in my home because she can do a lot of harm. You lost her respect. This is number one, by beating her. She don't like you. She will never love you. And now she hate you. And do you blame her? No. What she see from you, except beating her as if she's an animal. And what kind of man he say to others, beat your wife? You tell me. What kind of a creature he is? Please, guys, don't use a bad language in the text. Otherwise, we have to block you. No bad language. Cowardly behavior. And let me show you just one more thing to explain to you how ugly this man he is, Muhammad. I don't know if you remember the story of the women who her husband, he did beat her. And Aisha, she witnessed that all Muslim women, nobody suffer as much as they do. The man, he did beat his wife until he made her skin greener than her clothing. And then Muhammad, not only he agree with this beating, he forced her to be raped by her husband. Because this is the whole beating is about. She don't want to sleep with the man. She went to Muhammad seeking protection. Muhammad, he took the side of the man and he says, if you think, if you think you can avoid not to sleep with him, you are wrong. So he agreed with the beating and that beating was so violent to the point her skin is greener than her clothes. And in the top, she is going to be raped. And this is the story in the front of you. You can read it, all of it. One more thing to show you how sick this man is. What do you think about a person who encourage men to leave their wife who is adult and mature and look for a child? What do you think? How in the world this man can be a prophet? Muhammad was going back after attacking his neighbors, stealing their money. Abdullah was driving his donkey or camel in front of him. Muhammad said to him, Oh, Abdullah, I see that you are in rush. Why you are in hurry? He said, Well, I prophet of Allah, I get married. Or Jaber, sorry, the story about Jaber. Muhammad, he said, Oh, you have married? He said, Yeah. He said, He marry a virgin? or a previously married which means he's asking about her private part situation if she or she is not you know what I'm talking about not really it's not about married or previously married she's a virgin or she is not I said oh Allah messenger with one who was previously married we're upon the devil is talking now listen to this why why don't you marry a young girl 
so that you could sport with her and she could sport with you have you ever heard of a devilish teacher more than this the man is not complaining he is actually obviously he is in love with his wife this is why he is rushing to go home muhammad intervened a questioning the decision of the man who married a previously married woman saying to him why 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 you do that huh why you marry a woman she is adult and she is a previously married what about you get a young child so you can play with her what the purpose to play with you can you imagine how disgusting he is while Jesus teaching us that we should be united in our marriage loving each other the man and the women they leave their parents and they will become one Muhammad is encouraging his men to hate the women he has and to look for a young child just to sport with her because he's sick He's literally sick. What do you think if I go right now, and I don't know how many of you here are married, and say, hey, did you marry a woman? She was a previously married or a widow? Or a woman, she is not a virgin? And then you say, uh, yeah. Why? Why? Why you don't go and look for a child? That is what the prophet of God teach. This is the value of the good God. Hey Abbas, how are you? Hello. Hello, Abbas. Did you marry a previously married? Uh, peace be, peace be with you, brother. Uh, again, you are lying, Hello. saying to me peace, but you cannot say peace. We we got you busted in that. Hello. Yeah, hello. Sorry. I hear you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, so, um, yeah. About, this, uh, what do you think about? First this of all, mm -hmm. you kept me wait so long. You were talking to other brother, and first of all, I want to congratulate Muhammad. Mm -hmm. So long. You can give him more knowledge. About and what? and he didn't uh, get into your trap like uh, some non, some Muslims do who doesn't have much knowledge. So you are saying this he doesn't have knowledge. So reasonable. He, okay. Okay. He's okay. Saying, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Think he will you are saying. Research. You are saying. Uh, this is, this have... is a lesson. One second. Listen. Let listen. Me, listen. Me, listen. Me, so you are upset because. Why are you always because panic Muhammad whenever I call, call you? you? Can you do better? You are saying that Muhammad don't have knowledge. Can you do better? Hello. Hello, what happened to this guy? Are you there? Muhammad, are you listening? Abbas, you are saying that you are naive and you got into the trap of a Christian prince. Let us see if this Abbas can do better. Abbas, are you there? I mean, the video of Abbas calling me and getting busted is endless. Just search for them and you will die literally laughing. And he's saying that the one who called me before him is a stupid and he is the smart what happened Abbas where are you let me hang up and call him back I don't know what happened to him let us see how smart he is hello can you hear yes, me Abbas. so the guy who called me before is not a smart and you are the smart one how is that I never said that. Don't lie on me. I so said, what you said? What you, said was... you said he fell in my trap. Can you keep quiet and let me speak? Okay, go ahead. What you said about him? Go ahead. What is your problem, man? I never said that. I said he did not fall into your trap. Uh, he did like not. many ignorant Muslims do. How is Mashallah, that? what he, he did said... was Alhamdulillah. Well, he agreed... I'm speaking now, man. You can't understand me. If you but don't he listen agreed to me. with me. He said You're that talking women... about me. He said that women, they have emotional problem. This is why they will go to hell. <sighs> You see, this is your problem. You don't listen. You're talking over me again. Hmm. If you give me 20 seconds to express my uh, co congratulations to him, mashallah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, he was so good. Okay. What he did, he said if he doesn't know anything, he will go and research. And that's what all Muslims should do. Okay. They well, should not fall into your trap as you are Satan-inspired person. All right. We should go and, and listen, research so ourselves. Do you have so whatever answer? hadith do you have there an is, yourself? we you must have... go and find do out what the an truth behind the hadith. Okay, you are calling yes. me now. To say I have an answer, or you are calling me to say the same as he said, I will go and search. 
No, no, this uh, this hadith I'm talking about, the one that, uh, what prompted me to call about this hadith. Which one? The uh, companion was going back and he says, go and marry with the little girl, why okay. you marry with the divorce? So go ahead, answer about that. No, this hadith, uh, there's another Turk of this hadith, hmm. is similar, Okay. which is a little bit longer. Hmm. And he's talking about this, this uh, companion, he hmm. has sisters. Hmm. His father passed away. Mm. And he has sisters, young sisters. They are little sisters, young sisters. That's a lie. And nobody is that no, is a, nobody's that, there. That is a lie. There is a Turk. There is another Turk. No, there's no, no, this, that's a lie. And I can prove it. I can prove it to you, but I can, I'm not going to prove it to you right now. But that two, is a lie. Reasons. Okay. I waited one and a half hours. That is a lie. It's in the front of you. The story in the front of you. His brother, his name is Abdullah. He died and he left little babies. So the guy he married a woman, so she will take care of them, which means there is, say, he say, there is another Turk who say his sisters. They were his sisters. Abdul, Abdul, and nobody Abdul. Okay, there give to me the hadith them. so we can laugh. It doesn't matter. Let us say. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So, so the I will, is, if I'm lying, okay. I will prove it to you. Okay. If I'm lying, okay, hold on, hold on. I, it doesn't matter. He have sisters or they are the daughters of his brother, as the hadith in front of us. It sister. doesn't matter. Will not it change anything. Matter. No, will not change anything. Because the reason for him to marry an adult woman because he need a woman to take care of them, not additional child beside the children's, correct? You know, you have a diary of talking, you know, you don't listen. You have two years at one time for a reason. The one who have a diary is your prophet. I can show you the hadith, always suffer from it. No, 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 you have a diary, you agree with me, okay? So you accept <laughs> it, yeah? That's fine. Why, That's you answer me? You Why your prophet is asking the man to go and look for a young girl? What is the purpose? If you allow me to answer you, you are not answering. You, you call okay. me and you are no, talking no. about the guy before you, saying that he was wise by saying by not answering. Obviously, you would do the same. You would be wise by not answering. Why you are a prophet asking a man to go and find a child to marry her? Go ahead. Okay, I'm answering. I'm answering you now. Okay. How old was this his companion when he was talking to him? Can Doesn't matter. He's a man. It does matter. He's a man. That does matter. That is the whole point. He's a man. That is the whole point. How old was he? How do you know this world, This man he was talking to, you, he was not 17 years old or 18 years old. Okay. How do you know that? Okay. How do you know that he is 17 years old? Thank you very much. This is why I come to you. Mm. I explain mm. to you, he has young sisters. Meaning he probably himself was a very young man. Mm. Because he has young sisters at so, home. See, he's a man so or not? So he married someone. So he's a man or not? He married someone he is a who man. can look after. He is a man. Let us say, let us go with your love. Uh, let us go with your love. Let us say, let us say he is 17 years old. Is that an excuse yes. for a prophet to say to him, why you are marrying a woman, go Thank and marry a child? Now I, I, now I explain to you. Hmm. I explain to you. Hmm. Let's go back in time and you are there. Hmm. A prophet, peace be upon him, he's, he's riding a horse hmm. with a 17 year old. He hmm. says, I heard, well, what's the hurry? He said, I got married. He said, you marry with hmm. a young girl, a virgin, hmm. or, or an old woman. He said, hmm. the one who's divorced. Then he, he said to him as an older person, as a father mm. figure, mm. why don't he marry somebody who's like your age, you know, young, so you can play with her, she can play with you. He feels sorry for him that he has to marry somebody older than him, the reason because he, she has to look after his family. So he's advising him as a father figure. But okay. what happened in the end? He mm. said, no, mm. I'm happy. He said, okay, no problem. I'll give you one camel as well. Take one camel as well mm. for, for your family and you. Mm. He, he blessed him in the end as well. Are you done? So why don't you understand? Are you he done? has a older are you, man, are you, are you father done? figure. Are you, are you should marry somebody who you can play with. No, I haven't done. Okay. So meaning, if you are two seventeen years old, mm. they can have play, they can enjoy, they can mm. do many things. Mm. Rather than if you are seventeen year old, you marry with thirty year old. Mm. It's not the same thing. Mm. So this is why he was telling him that. But you kind of a twisted in a very uh, filthy way. And okay. That's not fair. You're done. I am. Yeah. I will give you. A 1,000 year diaper supply if you can show me that this person was 17 years old. This is number one. Number two. Are you a man of your word? We will see. Are you a man yes, of your I, word? I, I am a man of my word. You will get all the diapers you okay, need. Okay, then. Okay, okay. That's it. Done now, then. Done. Now, listen. Listen. You are saying that only if you are 17, you can marry a child at that's, the age. That's why you're a man of your word. I got 1,000 years okay. now. Okay. Give, give me the reference so we now. can laugh. Secondly, you are saying that you're a prophet. You are saying, you are saying, you're a prophet. He have no right to marry a child at the age of six unless he is 17. Hey, man. Low blow again. Low Did blow. your <laughs> prophet marry Aisha? And don't forget to give me the hadith about his age, please, at that time. I, uh, I answer your question. Now you have to answer my question now. Hmm. I got one question for the Bible. Don't change the topic, Abdul.
No, I'm not changing the topic. We okay. talk about women. Hmm. Are we talking about women or not? We are talking about women. Let's Go see ahead. how courageous you are. I'm hmm. going to ask you one question. No, answer that question. Hmm. I already answered you one. Hmm. So you are changing the topic. In order not to answer, we can finish this one and we will go to answer the question about the Bible. No problem. I'm, I'm not. You we're talking about women, aren't we? Yes, we are talking about women. You just said that the person he is 17 years old lying to us because nowhere it says that. You are fabricating a story. But by, but by doing that, by doing that, you get your prophet busted. You are saying that if you are a kid, you can marry a kid. So Muhammad at the age of 54, he married a child at the age of six. For what reason? That's nonsense what you just said. This is what you just said. Everybody heard you saying the guy was 17, 17 the prophet sure. saying to him, why you don't marry a girl so you can play with her. So the purpose of the marriage for Muhammad is playing with the children. No, so no, no, why no, no, Muhammad no. at the age of 54, he married a five years old kid because six years old in the calendar of Islam is five years in our calendar. Two separate questions. No, you are the same one. one. You are the same one the because one the, te the teacher he okay. should he should be the, the best example. If a, if a if a seventeen years old can do that only according to your lie, then Muhammad should be seventeen years old to marry Aisha when she was six. <laughs> okay. First of all, first question is seventeen year old can marry seventeen year old in Islam? Yes, of course. Well, he did not say to him, don't, don't lie, don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. He said, he said a said young that. girl, just a young child, a young girl, and the purpose is yes. to play with her. That means she is not mature. Correct? Yeah. Seven, what seven what is years. the purpose? Don't, don't say seventeen. Don't say seventeen. Okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. So you will okay, hold on. Everybody will laugh at you. Everybody will laugh at you. So the man is married to a woman she have already married before and you are saying she wa he was 17 and this is wrong to do that means she's older than him is that correct i'm not saying that i said how do you know he was not young young boy oh, you so you are fabricating a lie saying he was 17 but I'm he was not, not. Uh, what i'm saying is when you read no no, no. where do you get the words yeah. where you get the number 17 from yeah. uh, uh, baboos baboos where do you get the number 17 from you see, guys, when he panicked, he started insulting me. I'm not you insulting. Can... Your name is Abus. As a Muslim, when I see a Satan Abdul, inside person. Listen, where you get the number Abdul 17 lost. from, I want you to agree that you fabricated the number is not exist. Either you say I fabricated the number or you give me the proof that he was 17. Mr. Do, uh, do, uh, do, do, do you have I, any, where you get the I number 17? Where you got the number 17? Please tell us. I'm listening to you. I'm I say, how do you know he was not 17? That's what I said. How do you know he was 17? And why you came with the number 17? Maybe maybe he's one years old. Maybe he's two years old. The guy who okay. was in war and the man is coming Wait. back. And Muhammad himself, he was at the age of 54 and he married a child. And now he is teaching his men. He is teaching his men to do the same. Was Muhammad to do it? Okay, listen, listen. Do you follow the steps of the prophet or you don't? Again. You want to answer, right? Do you follow the steps of the prophet? Yes, yes or you don't? What? Listen to Do me. you follow the steps of the prophet? Yes or no? Is the prophet is the best to follow? Is your prophet behavior is the best to follow? So when Muhammad he married Aisha at the age of six, he was wrong or right? So do you agree that young people went, uh, went on war in Islam in the time of Muhammad? Young people. You are the one who's saying that, not me. You are the one who said he was seventeen. How old was Osama bin Zayd? How old was Osama bin Zayd? Abdul, I challenge you to show me where you got the number seventeen. I promise you, I will give you divers, and you accepted the challenge. You said, "You are, are you the man of your word?" You said, "Are you the man of your word?" So I say to you again, I will give you divers for free. If you can show me where you get the number 17 from, are you a man Don't of your word? Games. Are you a man of your word? So, am I allowed to speak or not? You keep talking over We made a challenge. Man. So, you so are tablet. fabricating You are fabricating numbers. Secondly, your prophet was 54 years old when he married Aisha at the age of five. Which is six in the Islamic calendar. So you're a prophet was talking about marriage or child molestation, child rape. Why? Why? What kind of a man? He said to his man who is happily married, "Why you marry a widow? Why you marry a a, a, a divorce?" I ask you a question. Hello, you're talking too much. Now it's my time. Time now, yeah. 
How do you know he was more than 17? Give me a proof. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see, Abbas, this is why I hang up on you. Because you are officially stupid. You are the one who mentioned the number 17, so you have to prove it, not me. He's a man. Oh, I know. Listen, you are the one who mentioned the number 17, so it is your duty to give me the proof. Otherwise, you are fabricating things that does not exist. You are you are a fool, Abbas. Literally. Now, I'm repeating again. Can you prove to me the age of this person? Secondly, if he was 17, as you said, which you cannot prove which because you are a liar. That's mean that if you are 17, you can marry a young girl. But if you are 54, can you marry a young girl or you cannot? You see, every time I speak, you talk over me. So I, I don't know what it was. Because I have to repeat the question one million time, and yet you are trying your yes. best to avoid to answer. So are you going to answer or not? How many times I need to repeat the question? If a man, if a man is 17, according to you, he can marry a younger child. Can a man who is 54 years old marry a child? Yes or no? The first question you asked me about the 17 year old, why did I say he was? I did not ask you about 17 years old. You are the one who mentioned 17 number, not me. You asking me? Are you asking me why did you say 17? Can you prove it? You didn't say that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, question. I never say he was 17. I say, how do you know he was not 17? So, that's so okay. It doesn't matter now. You are the one who mentioned number 17, so you stuck with it. So I will go with you. Let us say he was 17. No, you are the one who's trying to give me a reasoning why he can marry a child. And now let me ask you, are you saying to me, if you are 17, you can marry six years old? Of course not. But you just said that, you idiot. I didn't. You did. I didn't say that. Okay, when you're a prophet, he says, when you're a prophet, he says, go and marry a young girl. How young she is. How young that girl is. Well, 16 and 17 is young. What's wrong with that? How do you know a young girl is okay. only 16 years old? Okay, be my witness. Abbas, he agree that if you are 17, you cannot marry six years old. Be my witness. So how a man, he is 54, he didn't marry six years old. His name is Muhammad. Why are you putting words in my mouth? I say, how do you know that he asked You said no. Him? Everybody heard you. Stop lying, guys. Did he say no? Did Abbas say no? I ask you, can a man, he is 17 years old, Mary, six years old, you said no. Everybody heard yeah, you. Uh, Abus, no. Abus. When I, you, 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 you don't have intelligence. You are very low. Listen, you it's said no. Everybody heard you. So how a man, he is 54 years old, marrying six years old, if a 17 years old should not marry six years old? Okay. Can I speak now? Am I allowed to speak? Sure, sure, go ahead. I say you said talk over me. Now, first of all, a question about this particular hubbies. When he said marry a young woman who's virgin, that he's not implying marry six years old. He's not. He said young woman who's a virgin, meaning could be 16, could be 17, could be 18. Mm. So that's side could by be the six. Side. Could be six. Second, could be six. Second question. Could be six. How could be six. Could be six. Could be, could, be, could be six. Yes, could be six years old. Is that possible? It's six, she is six years old. Uh, no, it's not because I do not believe Prophet Mary six year old. I don't. So Sahih al Bukhari I, is a book of lies. Sorry. Sahih al Bukhari is book of lies. Okay, okay. No, Sahih al Bukhari have errors in it. Of course, he has errors. But in the it. one who said that is Aisha. I myself even argue with the Muslims at speakers' corner. Oh, shut up, you idiot. And sadly, you will not get my darbars, even though you have a lot of poopoo in your panty now. And supposedly he was saying that he is the smart who can answer. He just said, if you are 17, you can marry a young one. Can you marry six years old? He said, no. And now to avoid this, he said, oh, I don't agree with this. Who are you? Even the Quran say you can divorce children. The Quran got you busted, you liar. The Quran speaking about divorcing females who never have their period yet because they are Why so she young. Why run like a coward? Why? They are because they are so young. Is that true that the Quran says teaching you about divorcing children? Yes or no? No. 
Okay. Well, no, read for me. Okay, so, read for me chapter 65, verse number four, and tell me what interpretation you like me to read. Words. What interpretation? But you know, we're allowed to. You know, we allow me to speak. You know, no, I, I know no, that. I allow you to speak. I allow you to speak. Give me, give me the interpretation for the verse. Do you want to do the same as last time? Uh, okay. Make a theory? Listen, first we read the Quran. Listen, yes, listen, brother. Quran. Listen, listen. I'm asking you, do you want me to show you Ibn Kathir? What, inter we read what, the inter the Quran what interpretation you want? Choose one before yes, we start. Sir. Can we read the Quran first? We can, sure. Go ahead. But I'm asking you, by the yes, time sir. you are reading, what, inter what, inter screen, what interpretation you like me to show in the screen? I don't want I'm interpretation. Doing it. I want the Quran. Why you don't want interpretation now no more? What happened? Let's read the Quran first. Why you then don't want why? Okay, what the problem with showing interpretation too? You see, you Muslim, you try to give interpretation for our Bible and unfair. We are showing you your interpretation. Still, you are saying unfair. Yeah, so what we should do now? So what, interpreta what interpretation? What interpretation? Uh, listen, listen, listen. You don't, you don't, you don't speak Arabic, so you cannot explain the Quran. Can you? Yeah, give me a go. Put the words on, on the screen. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Can you explain the Quran? Do you have Do you have the qualification? Do you have Do you have the qualification to explain the Quran? What kind of a stupid question is that? Okay, read the verse for us. Yeah, go on, read stupid the verse. question. Put the verse on the screen. Hmm. Remember, you said the Quran says you can give a divorce to a child. Remember that what you said. Read it, read it, read and love. Yes. Okay. okay. Put the verse on, man. It's in front of you. This is the interpretation you're putting. Put the verse on. The verse in the front of you. It's in Arabic. Read it. It's not on the screen. It's in English. The idda of those in the menopause and those who do not. This is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it say that those are some youngs, women, children who they don't have put it, put demonstration it, yeah. yet? Where does it say? Where, where does it say children? Okay, it says. Here. Show me the Arabic word. It says children. Oh, it, it's not in Arabic. Show me the Arabic word where it says children. It you says, can give to children. I give you ten thousand years. Okay, here we go. It's in front of me. Wallati lam yahidna. They are children. What? Say hang on a minute. What was the word children here? Wallati lam yahidna. It is females, they never have menstruation because they are so young. Okay. Children. This is what lati so it lam say, hang on. So hang on a minute. I'm, I'm going to speak now, yeah? Mm, okay. So when it says those female who does not have period, mm. is the word actually means children. Yes. Is that word? Well, that's what he's saying, right? Yes. Does it mean children? Yes. I'll tell you what it means. Yes, it mean? means simply, mm. first of all, the whole context is talking about nisa. Mm. It's also to a uh, chapter Nisa and mm. stock about Nisa. Mm. And Nisa only means women. Mm. It doesn't mean children. Even you are Arab, mm. shame on you, you, you didn't know that. Mm. Nisa means women and not mm. children. So we're talking about women. Did Allah, now the question did is Allah name did, did Allah name the did Allah name the chapter and Nisa? Or you must name it and Nisa. Nisa means women in Arabic. Yes or no. Nisa, Nisa is the kind. The Rijal is the kind, which means men, women. male yes and female. No. Okay, let, let us let us see who is lying here. Why we don't read the interpretation? Why we don't read? Why we don't read? Why we don't read the interpretation? Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay, let us see. Uh, no, no, you don't want you don't want me to read because that will show there are children. Okay, here we so here we go. It says some because they are young, they who have not reached the years of menstruation. Does it say that? Oh, Allah, give me strength to talk to this evil-inspired man. I'm is, just doing it. Yes or no? Words. You said that this word does not mean a children. This is Ibn Kathir, your boss. The one you keep saying to me, read Ibn Kathir. He is saying, who have not reached the years of menstruation. Yes or no? I'm only doing for the sake of people who are listening to you. You are doing working. nothing. We are laughing at you. Why you are not reading? Okay. okay. So I are you saying, say okay, are you saying Ibn Kathir is a stupid and he is a liar? If you're not going to give me one minute, I'm going to hang up right now. Uh, I'm giving you 10 minutes. You are not repeating. And the question is Ibn Kathir lying by saying, listen, minute, I don't care you hang up or not. People are laughing at you. Hit the ground with your foot like a kid and run away. I'm not going to talk to you no more. I'm going to leave. Okay, leave. But you cannot answer because I'm getting you busted. It's in the front of you. It says the young one who have not reached the years of menstruation. What does that mean? 
one minute without interruption, go then ahead. we can answer, can answer whatever okay, question. Okay, go read. Yeah. Okay, one minute without interruption. Mm. Now, this verse is, is talking about and those people who has not reached menstruation yet. Mm. So, then the, before that it says Nisa. So, we as a human being, logical human being, mm. we say, what kind of a Nisa is those mm. that do not reach menstruation? Mm. Then we find that we, now we know there are people mm. who have the condition called uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia is a condition when a woman even reached the age of 25, mm. they never have menstruation. They do not they have a problem mm. with their menstruation. So Quran is addressing those kind of a women, okay. even they are adult, right. but they didn't teach menstruation. Okay. So for them, when you give divorce, they are though they are women, okay. but they do not have the menstruation. Abbas, then I, 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 I listen to you. Abbas, I, I, you didn't give me a minute. I listen to you. I challenge you to show me one Quran scholar is. agree with you. Just one scholar agree with you in the whole Islamic world. Uh, CP, listen, uh, you won. Yeah, I have to go. Abbas, you are stupid. Have... What, what, what are you running? Show me one scholar agree with you. Coward, you see? He is fabricating a meaning just to cover up the satanic verses of Muhammad. Not a single Muslim believe in the crap he gave me. This is the truth. It's in the front of you. It says they are young who did not reach the age of menstruation. What does that mean? They are children. Divorcing, not marrying. We are talking about divorcing them. So now we are divorcing them. Still, they don't have menstruation yet because they are young. Do you see it? So the coward, he, all of them, they do the same. They try to give their own fabrication to hide and to cover up to the satanic teaching of Muhammad. Deceiving a man, trying to force him to marry a child. So the first fabrication, he said he was 17. We asked him, where do you get this from? He said, I'm uh, saying, uh, how do you know he is not 17? And then I asked him, can a man at the age of 17 marry six years old? He said, no. So how Muhammad married six years old? He said, he don't agree with it. But this is authentic. Now we are talking about Quran. And those who never have their period, talking about what? Divorcing them. Why they don't have their period? All Muslims around the earth, including Muhammad, agree. It's about young females. Hmm? Why are you lying? Let us see different interpretation. Maybe this one is a stupid. Maybe different interpretation would do better. And the funny, he said he is calling to grind great his his brother in not answering me. But he did the same. He ran away and he hung up. And by the way, Allah will give you a Barbie, as the hadith says. So we will send you a Barbie and a diver. Just wait for it. It's coming in the mail with Jibreel. A God who promised me a Barbie. A prophet who tried to seduce me to go and sleep with the children when I am happily married with a widow or divorced woman. What's your business? What's the business of this man? His name is Muhammad. The man is not complaining. He is happily married. What do you want? What kind of advice you say to a man who is married? He is married. It's not like a single man coming to him asking him for help. Hey, I should marry who? And what kind of advice to marry someone to do what? To sport with her. Obviously, she is a kid. To sport? A man, he marry a child to sport with her. Is that the wise God and the wise prophet? Teaching me to find a female, she is so young, so she will amuse you, as Muhammad in the hadith says. How she will amuse me? Walking with her diaper? How is that? Very sick, disgusting mentality. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. 
not only we showed Ibn, uh, uh, Ibn Kathir, all Muslim scholars agree. It says, And those who have not yet menstruated because of their young age. Do you see it? Because of what? Let me zoom in. To the one who is playing dumb and blind. This is your scholars. All of them, they agree. And this verse talking about divorcing children, not marrying children. So what do you want to say? We divorce children, we don't marry them? Do you see how we got them busted? So I'm very grateful today to have uh, Mr. Abbas. And by the way, he is the most intelligent person ever I met between the Muslims. So you can imagine how bad the situation is. And I'm very grateful that Mr. Muhammad, he spent some time with us. Who is next? Who is next? Our friend here, uh, Shane B. I'm not sure if I'm saying your, your name uh, correctly, my friend. He's saying, who is next to expose CP? Who want to help this brother here to expose me? He's, he's asking for your help, Muslims. Who is next to expose CP? Any? Who is next? Anyone? Uh, Mr. Hassan, he can call me, no problem. Give me your ID, Mr. Hassan. I will be happy to call you. Anyone? That is a very ugly, disgusting teaching. This is not even a human teaching. It's bad. It's scary. Disrespect your mother. Yeah, but uh, he have to give me his ID in Skype so to call him. If somebody says you want to talk to me, okay, give me your ID in Skype. We will call you, not just want to call me. And what? How I will find your? How I can call you? And there's seven billion a human being. My book is going to be out soon. We are just, we give the book for some people to read it, to be sure that the translation, uh, you know, like the translator, he might miss a point or something. So they are reading it, uh, you know, to be sure. And I hope in a few days, by the, by the coming week, you will have it all for free. We keep our promise, don't worry. I will give my book, Quran and Science in Depth, in the Basha language, in the Indonesian language, in a few days from now, and it's totally as a gift from me for all the people of Indonesia with my love to them Muslims and Christians and let us see how many Muslims will stay a Muslims after they read it anyone And my book, uh, Sex and Allah in German, is going to be published soon in Amazon. And then, if in a few days more, we will have the Dutch copy, Sex on Allah, volume number one and two. So we will have it soon in German and Dutch for those who live in Europe and speak German language or Dutch. And more books we will make. You see, what I share with you of knowledge is just little tiny, you know, but... Always I try to share what is enough to prove a point. Otherwise, if I want to share what is in my head, pages cannot handle it. How many of us today will learn something new? 
let us see if you guys we are learning something new. You see, we might repeat a topic, but you will notice always it doesn't matter how many you repeat. Still, there is something new to come. Because people, they help me actually to bring more information from my memory by, you know, by leading the topic in certain direction. So we don't talk about certain things unless there is a certain reason. Right? So each time, even if the same topic, let us say I open the same title tomorrow. Trust me, tomorrow will be the topic. We will learn something new. No matter, my friend, is if you are living in Indonesia or not, all Indonesian people will get it for free. We'll post a link for it in the internet and people can have it. Just have patience. This is only for the Basha language, the, the Indonesian language. Guys, you are saying to me, call Hassan. Where is his ID? Stop doing that. I need his ID. Okay. Look like we have it. Oh, oh I, I can I, I not see it. Sorry. I have like, you know, for me, the software I'm using for the broadcast make this the 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 text speed very fast. Okay, Mr. Hassan, I just text you please. Uh, go ahead and answer me. Uh, let me call him right away because we don't have much time left. Connect your phone to the internet, Hassan. Hmm. He is not online. It says he is not online. So all this drama for what? The guy is not even on online. Okay, so the guy is not even online. I have to block you because I don't add people unless they have a reason to be added. All right, guys, I hope today we have a good time together and we learn something new. Please leave uh, in the comment if you have like a special request to talk about a certain topic and if something we did not maybe speak about or cover, I will be happy to, to take it. Uh, and all Muslims, doesn't matter how big they are, sheikhs, scholars, for sure we prefer those who claim to be uh, like big deal, big shot with long beard. Because th the longer the beard is, is the easier to grab them. So I really encourage the big beard one to call me. It's the best. And we have a list of big beard people who debated me already and we have their debate in my page you can watch it some of them not all of them all right so anyway i want to say thank you guys for being here uh, i pray that the lord he will uh, always help us to understand and learn and uh, uh, you know to learn from from what we are doing here we don't want to waste our time you see, time is a priceless. Every moment, moment go of your life will never have it again. So we are here not, yes, maybe we laugh, etc. But the purpose is not laughing. The purpose is saving millions of people from being misled, sadly. We love the Muslims. We don't hate them and never hate them. Because if you do that, you are not better than the evil one. Love your enemy. Pray for them. And to be loving is to share the truth, even the truth sometimes hurt. It hurt. The only way not to hurt somebody's feeling is by being a liar, not to tell him what is wrong. And those who loves you is the one who tell you what's wrong. The one who don't want you to be better, they will tell you, okay, you're very fine. You walk in the street, and you have some dirt in your clothes or something wrong. All those who don't care for you, they will not tell you what's wrong. Only the person 
who really care for you. He say, hey, listen, you have something here in your clothes. Oh, you know, maybe your zipper is open. Uh, your T-shirt have a dirt from a bird. And this is for something simple. What about going to hell or to heaven? Or believing in such a stupid cult, like affecting our life like violence and beating women and killing people. That's way more than something in your clothing. So thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again soon, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you very much. Take care.